Podcast SB episode 69. But tonight, we're going to sit and watch some UFC, but we got some guests with us tonight. We got to my left here, we got Fed of God, rapper out of PA. We got my boy Andy here sitting in with us tonight. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. And uh, as always, roll one up, smoke it, and enjoy the show. It's crazy. You should do it. Fuck me. No, neither do I. Hell no. I did, I, you know what I did when it came out in Ohio? I did my $5 for the yeah. free 250 Went like max bet. Lost them all. <laughs> and, and, I never, and I never bet again. That's like the only I just tried to win too. big yeah. on their free money. That's the best I, way to do it, dude. And, and I was cool. like, no, nope, I'm Play done with, with that shit. No. <laughs> hey, that shit's insane. It makes me really watch the fights more, though, because I'm like into it. Oh, bro, it's yeah. very... Yeah, I, my homie's sports bet, and I'd be like... Are y'all good? <laughs> Betting on tennis and shit is insane. Yeah. Yeah, some of them guys would be like, I'd already have been doing like you could, cricket and shit. And yeah. I'm like, you can't, you watching it? You can like, yeah, the ESPN you can like bet three on the morning. WWE now. I'm yeah, like, I did see that. How does that even work? Because it is predetermined, but there's a way that like, I mean, we we don't know who's winning the match. What? But with I mean, WWE. Are you they about that. to let you sports bet on that? I'm pretty yeah. sure. But yeah. they already yeah. are, right? Yeah. No way. Yep. I like it. It doesn't make sense because, like, yeah, it's predetermined and it's kind of secret and shit, but leaks happen all the time. Yeah. Like, and not only that, but a lot of the shit's like super predictable. Well, Taylor Swift leaked it to us that they were going to win Super Bowl too. So, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we've see, we seen that happening from the get go. Sports betting on WWE as well. That I mean, is crazy. There's no Ring of Rams is going to win every time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bet your, <laughs> bet your house on it. Well, can you bet on like pinfalls or something? What pinfall they'll do? I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah. I would imagine, like to can That'd probably be like a good prop bet. Yeah. Like, oh, like, oh, yeah, I think they'll do three pinfalls before you get the victory. Yeah. Something. something. It's got to be something. Yeah. You call like, oh, he does like the his opponent's finisher, finisher move yeah, or something. something like that. Yeah. Who's coming like surprise guests like from the Royal Rumble? Who you yeah. always going to come? Oh, That'd yeah. be cool. Literally, they would, yeah. for sure, yeah. So, fuck yeah. So, when did you, uh, so you're... I mean, you're right now, you're based out of Pittsburgh. Where yeah, you, so, yeah. where are you originally from, though? North side of Pittsburgh. North side of Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why. And when did you start getting into, uh, into the game, start rapping and shit like that? Um, shit, around 2012, for real, for real, but like seriously, like 2018. And so, okay. were you high school, like out of high school in that? I don't know how old you are. I'm like, 30. You're 30, yeah, so. Yeah, so okay. I got out of high school in 2011. Okay. So, yeah, I was out of high school when I started getting into rap. Like, I didn't, I never thought I would make music, bro. I was more so, like, I wanted to be a doctor, but I got in trouble in the streets. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what's so, up. Yeah, I mean, music. we all been there. Yeah, we all been there. So, yeah, music found me in a sense. Oh, yeah. And then I just, like, went with it because it just, it just gives me, like, a genuine good feel. I fuck with it. Like, it gives me, like, a, a crazy high. For sure. I love it. I love it. Hell yeah. I just left the studio coming here. Oh, did you? Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. I was in a studio in uh, Lorraine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and you got, because you got a new, you just dropped that recent, those three tracks recently, yep, yep. right? Where's Fed, yep. And yeah. then you got an it's album hard. coming out this summer? Yep. Uh, actually. Spring? April 29th, Soul Searching. April 29th, Soul uh, Searching. Those are the ones you were previewing all the time? Yeah, yeah, on, the, on my Instagram. Yeah, yeah the verses are hard, hard, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hard. Oh, yeah. it's different, different yeah, than what up. you're what you're on. You go look, yeah, soul searching, soul searching. So yeah, that's coming out April 29th, March 29th. We got the first single called Love Hate. So it's going to for the summer. Are we about to turn it up. Uh, it's going to be fucking fair. I got oh, some yeah. heat uh, on there. My face is crying harder. Right now, harder, that's yeah. just it right now. <laughs> my, my brand's always grinding, so I love that shit. I'm yeah, on this shit. I'm like, right this shit's hard, bro. I'm like, this shit's hard. <laughs> Ground, no, Ground Harder is a good song because like, fuck, you got Ground Harder think smarter. For real, I like Strip Club Jesus. You like yeah. you like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. get you I'm, turned up. I'm a strip club guy anyway, so I'm like this one strip club with a title, bro. I'm like, I have that shit. It's already my shit. <laughs> nah, Strip Club Jesus. It was good. that's a fun song. So how did you then get introduced to uh, like? Because now you're with like Wiz and Taylor uh-huh. Gang and things like that. Like Just on that journey, like because I mean, you did you weren't instantly in there. Like I know nah. you you did your hustle and your grind and shit right. like that. But how'd you get linked up with that? Like that big. Was that your big break, basically? That's like my break into the industry. Yeah. yeah. Um, just, just basically like Stam. Oh shit! <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> them late kicks is crazy. But um, <laughs> stand my course for real, for real, bro. Like 
just dropping consistent music, just being a positive figure, like a, like just an impactful figure in my city for real, for the, for the bigger, for the bigger fish in the city to notice. So I was just going crazy for Will and Wiz and notice like, Oh yeah. Like, he, and then, you know, they got around me and it was just more so like, all right, he fits in with us. Like, yeah, vibe and shit like, that, and shit. Yeah. like it's, it's super cool. And, and that's almost like anything consistency, no matter what you're doing. Yeah, I'm very consistent. Whether it's YouTube, music, work, it's just, mm-hmm. just gotta be consistent. Literally like from throwing shows, just being out, like being a man of the people, for real, You're for always real. out. I see, I, from the first time I met you at the show, yeah. then after that, I seen you like four times, like, man, I'm seeing this dude everywhere. Yeah, like, I'd be always outside. Out. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I get around the people. Like, I, I, I mean, even yeah, coming I'm, here to do this shit with us, you yeah, know? Yeah, I mean, that's cool as fuck. Like, literally, for I, sure. you know, shit, it wasn't shit to me. Yeah, but, like, people know you. You're not walking around, like, chest out. Like, you walk nah, around the same I, way you walk. Yeah, I'm like, cool. Like, I ain't, dude. Yeah, I ain't trying to poke my chest out. Like, yeah. that's how people lose their fucking life and shit. Just be a regular person. I'm just popular, so... That's how I look at it. Like, like, oh, you're famous. So I'm like, bro, I'm popular, bro. I'm just like you. I, <laughs> I just got a bigger name right now. Like, that's it. Yeah. Like, Hell yeah. No, that's cool. I just found that Jimmy Wapa song there. Cause oh, I was yeah. looking at the bullshit. That shit was hard <laughs> too. Friday. Cause like, you were kind of like on the same flow throughout the song yeah. too. So it, it fit well together. Well, but it, it, it was that called Friday? Friday, yeah. yeah I, just found, I posted that. I was like, man, this shit yeah. is hard. I like the video. The claymation. Oh, claymation? Yeah, dude. Bruh. It looks like an old school video. So my homie Blake, he did the claymation for that. Oh yeah. I hear it's up. My bad. Everybody hears Walden. Uh, so. yeah. He's my bad. Yeah. Little bro, he's he's a little. Crazy. He's our guard dog. The yeah. pug. Yeah. yeah. Can't tell. Guard pug. <coughs> Can we curse on her? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. You, sure. you say what the fuck you want, dude. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You have to curse, actually. Yeah, like if you oh, don't okay. curse, you you, they're curse. probably yeah. in the comments gonna be like, "What the fuck's wrong with this guy?" <laughs> <That'd be good. laughs> Marijuana. <laughs> oh yeah. So then, what's um? So you just hit. Where's uh the furthest you went for a show from like where you're at here, like in Pittsburgh? Like where's the furthest you've gone? Cali, like Texas? Have you gone? So I did a international. I did, I did a thirty city tour. I'm uh, doing a show in Paris this summer. Paris, oh, that'll shit. be your furthest Sunday. that you've went. Yeah, Fourth of July, right? Yep. yep that's just cool. yeah, that'll be the furthest I went so far. That's Paris. sweet. Do you like going out of the country to perform? Yes. So the furthest to this date would be Puerto Rico. I performed in Puerto oh, Rico. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. yeah. For great. um Eladio, the South Boys. Mm-hmm. I did the Dirt Festival down there with Wiz. Oh nice. He brought me out there. Like I just flew down there and just just they was just showing me some different shit. I didn't know I was gonna perform. But you know, Wiz, he always like pits me adds me to his platform. Like he yeah. invites me to his platform. He lets me use his platform very well. So he just brought me out on stage, like, yo, could perform. It was bro, it was like thirty thousand people. How was that? Was that your first Damn. time in front of that like type of crowd? In front that, of thirty thousand people, hell fucking yeah. But like <laughs> was that? that was crazy. But like when we was on tour, we was doing like ten thousand, nineteen thousand people nice. some nights. So it was like it Fuck was yeah, crazy. Dude. And then that was oh shit. Fuck. And that was one of the open. <laughs> yeah, no, hell yeah. That's cool as fuck. Yeah. Oh my, oh, I told you you gonna fuck him up. And then who's going with you to Paris? Who's all gonna be on? It's just gonna be me. Just you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's what's up. The yeah, I'm the headliner. Sleep. Nice. Headlining in Paris from Pittsburgh is insane. And now, yeah. so, will anyone open for you over there, like a local talent? Or uh, There's gonna be local talent that's gonna open for me out over there. So, hell yeah. yeah, I'm gonna be like the fish out there, you know, so. Nice, that's, dude. That's, that's cool what we cool as fuck. Be able to go see shit. see the world, man. That's Literally. cool as fuck, that's dude. Your job be able to take you to go mm-hmm. see the world. That's, Literally, that's bro, sweet. I didn't, and I like I like to travel, but like like I said, I was I was in trouble with the law, so I didn't like really get to travel much because like you know I got in trouble and then I had my kids and shit. So then it was like fucking. Oh, I've been to the point where yeah, I wasn't allowed leaving the county for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I've been yeah, right yeah, there. I was allowed traveling. It was I wanted to. I just wasn't allowed to. I was probation. So when I walked when I walked my probation off and shit, then I started like taking the music serious like my music took me to places I would have never thought I would be at it put me on private jets and shit I'm like whoa like, yeah, so I was like, yeah. what song did you think was like man this is it this is the one that's gonna take me up um I dropped a song called Bobby Boucher and oh, I, I just listened to that recently yeah, too. That's just so that's the song that, that built the buzz like I built the buzz off of that and so it uh, it got crazy from there. Bro. Hell yeah. Bobby Boucher was a song that was getting me booked for shows and stuff. And then I followed up with a song called Let It Breathe. And then I dropped a tape called the King James Version. Oh, nice. That's my first tape. And then I followed that up with Northside shit. That's when the Northside shit slogan came out. And I, the hit song off of that was Sore Loser. So that was like, I just had the clubs rocking. You couldn't go nowhere in Pittsburgh without hearing a song from me. Like nowhere, like Carson Street, the strip district to the hood. Like it was like, all right, yeah, this is, this is who, who got it right yep. now. Yeah. So, so, you, so you had King James and then- and you got Lord's Prayer. 
knows as well. So Lord's Prayer, that's all recent. That's like yeah. Our, like, yeah. But I mean, but like, there's a there's an in, there's a, an influence behind that. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah for like, surely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like you, I see, you're catching on. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> no, yeah, no. I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. like I can see like the trend there or whatever. Mm-hmm. I like that. So yeah, that's yeah. what's thank up. You. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool, man. Oh yeah, dude. That's a cool ass journey, though, dude. From- thank you, bro. It's a long journey. It's not done yet, bro. This shit is long, bro. You like my fuckers be like, damn, how the fuck can you do that rap shit? Like, or how can you just do entertainment business like the music? And they just be like, bro, you gotta stay your course. It'd be crazy than a motherfucker. Oh, I bet I bet you there's so many avenues, so many people pulling you, so many trying to pull you so many different ways and really, bro, over like- here, over there, and shit like that. And it's bro, you be pulled every direction. Stay, like you said, stay focused Literally. and stay consistent. It'd be hard though, because it'd be like when you're getting pulled this way, getting pulled this way, and then you got your core, and then you're starting to see your core can't be around because they got their own personal life. So it's like, fuck, I don't got my personal people around me all the time. So you can get pulled them ways. Like, yeah. because you, you'll you meet faces that you feel like is genuine, but they're not genuine. But it's like, who the fuck wants to do this shit by yourself? Like, like yeah. solely by yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, doing it by yourself and then like really doing it by yourself is two different things. For like, sure. So it'd be Absolutely. Crazy, so. Definitely need support. Yeah. Literally, not, like not even needing like you want support, but you more so want your core, like everybody who knows you the most, who knows you the best, who has your best interests around you, yeah. especially in, in, in the entertainment, even with, like casting, podcasting. Like if y'all y'all homies, so if y'all can't do this shit with each other, it's gonna feel weird. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's gonna feel super weird. Like yeah, now you need like a foundation. The foundation, yeah, 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 for sure. That's my rock. So off that shit, now we know you that way. <laughs> so outside of that like what do you what do you in like movie like you're a movie buff guy like you you're an anime guy anime, are you like wrestling anime. or you know we're watching ufc right now like what is it what, what you what are you into outside of that like when you're anime kicking it at home and sneakers anime and sneakers anime okay and sneakers and i play my video game i don't really watch sports no more just because i just lost interest in it it's like i seen you seen you fuck around in the country club yeah, you yeah. You get your golf game on there, Tiger. I mean, I'll, I'll go play sports outside, but like watching TV and sports, it's just, it's too political now. It's too much shit in the sports. I'm like, oh man, bro, why the sure. fuck is it? NBA is terrible to me to watch. Yeah, I can't NBA watch NBA. Sucks. Yeah, NBA sucks. It's, it's a three point game now. Can't yeah. watch it unless it's the finals or play, yeah. end of the playoffs. When they're actually like hustling yeah. and trying, yeah. playing the defense and shit. I like hockey. I can't watch soccer. I can't watch baseball. Hockey live, going to an actual hockey yeah. thing is probably one, is probably top. It's the best sports experience to go to. I just yeah. went to Pittsburgh in December. I never even even watched a hockey game went to one live oh, yeah. game it was amazing yeah it's the yeah. best live sports experience you'll ever get i never went but i always liked watching it on tv yeah, and like it was the awesome. nhl 2k games are awesome i can't watch it on tv it's just i can't follow it but i went to a game and a ppg yeah, you just keep man, that that was like, sweet smoke on that that's it nah you hockey banging on glass oh, let's yeah, go yeah, then, you know we got cosby and shit so you know we, oh, we good over there i got a little Hell yeah, no hockey's cool. I played uh, roller hockey growing oh, up. Oh yeah, with roller blades and shit. I can't skate. I fucking <laughs> yeah. I haven't done it in a year. I probably fuck myself up now. But I just tried to. It was fun. So where it's cool. I used to skateboard. I love skateboarding. I don't I'm do bitch. it anymore. I was like, they just held the held the board and acted like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, it's a badass board, but I did not know what the fuck to do. Yeah, I was oh, ready I to get hurt. myself up so many times, but now I'm too old for that shit. You know, I, I definitely get hurt nowadays. I was going down the hill. I ripped one of my dreadlocks out. Oh, Ooh, damn. I, I got it. It ain't hurt that bad. I got that shit stitched right back in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you just went to, uh, what was it, Seven Springs, didn't you? I, yep, seen on yep. Instagram. I got an offer to go there one time. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get in the hospital if I go there. Oh, God. It's just dangerous. What's this shit? Uh, it's uh, from a Bruce Lee, like a little. Uh, like a Roblox? Bruce Lee mystery box. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a little toy. That's yeah, Bob Marley right there. Oh uh, no, we call him Shiva. I think Whoa. it's just a Hey Shiva. Yeah. <laughs> we looked up the the god of weed and his name is Shiva something. Hey yo. So So that's Shiva. where we put the roaches or whatever else. <laughs> the god of offerings. weed. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. We got the marijuana guy here. We got uh Bruce Lee Roblox. Yeah. <laughs> we got fucking weed. We got it all, man. We got weed. We got comic books. We got fucking pop figures. We got WWF belts. We got <laughs> independent belts in here. Face tags and criminals. Ex cons. Fucking love this. So what's uh? So you said your shoes. What's your what's your what's your uh, gem? What's your gem that you don't wear out? You got a couple that you I got a pair of Jordan Seventeens, original pair that came in a Jordan suitcase, and they I wore them one time because they're what they're about probably twenty three years old, and they fucking fell apart. 
damn. Oh my bro, the yeah, soul. that's why I wear my shoes. I wear them yeah. all. Like I got my my Jordans. Yeah. Like, oh, you got on your um the uh, J Balvin's. Yeah. Yeah. I was wearing the fucking. I I just got muddy. The fucking Travis Scott one lows all blacks. <sighs> With the um, the cool black and white shoelaces, yeah. yeah, and like they come with well, to come to all black, the black and white, and uh, like the red, the red, yeah, yeah. I want Pantone so bad. What size you wear? Pantones. Pantone eleven. Oh, the all blues. Yeah, they're uh, my favorite. What size shoe you wear? Ten and a half. Oh, okay, that's yeah. good to know. <laughs> You're thirteen. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. I know my shoes. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 I know my shoes. <laughs> I wear your size, brother. <laughs> y'all like Girl Scout cookies? Hell yeah. yeah. What's, what's, what, which ones y'all fuck with? I like the Samoas. Is that the one with coconut? Yeah, the purple. That's the uh, worst. Yeah, I'm not. That that co- I hate coconut. I, I hate. I like coconut. the smell of the. I like the. What's the one with peanut of butter? Candy. I like the any one with peanut butter. The I think it's like yeah, the peanut butter ones. The orange like, box. Yeah. The yeah. Orange box. yeah. The thin mints are dope. Those are coming back. I seen some chick, some little girls selling yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I got some. I got a whole bunch of purple boxes. I'm gonna give you some just so you can know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never ate them. Never them ate, girl, amazing. Never ate a girl scout cookie. Ever. For real, some of them really Swear. good. Some See, of them they, got, they, got, they got a no new lie. one. They got a new cookie this year. It's like a little brownie. It's like a little brownie filled up with like oh, some caramel. Oh, that would be fire. Shit. That's, yeah. that's a brownie. Sure. Nah, I know somebody who got something. You know, you can order them on the website. You got, you got, you got a plug? Yeah, I got a you, plug. Know, you know, girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, girl? I definitely got a plug yeah, on the boxes. <laughs> Box of Girl Scout cookies, holla at me. He's like, they're rare, man. They're, you know, they're order up. I get them for you for $2 a box. <laughs> that <Dope. whole> <laughs> That's cool. You can order them online, though. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. You order them online, though. They took that shit global. They're like, wait, these things are really selling. Yeah, yeah, I think they had to during they COVID. Had the COVID. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Don't, so got, it's like if you know, like, we got our COVID king right here because we hate him so much. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, dude, listen, he hates him so bad. You ever? There's a Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura do this podcast. Yeah. You ever watch it? Two Bears One Cave. Uh. Uh-uh. Well, they get each other like fucked up gifts and. He got him Hitler's cup, like teacup. His teacup. For, on for the him. podcast. So this was my version of Hitler's teacup to him. So I got him <laughs> yeah. a signed badge from Anthony Fauci for the whole COVID bullshit thing that, that went on. That is insane. Yeah, so that was, I got him that, and I got him the That's hoverboard. like next level. So that was like an actual gift. I got yeah. signed by Christopher Lloyd, and then I got him this too. <laughs> That's next level. COVID Pokemon card. <laughs> <laughs> Save that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh, shit, what do I do? I, yeah, my homie's all set. Oh, okay. Oh, what's good, bro? Uh, What's going on? That's D-Man, everybody. What's up, man? What's going on, man? Mark. This shit's sleep. Yeah, ain't this shit fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm walking. This is, this is a setup. Y'all so. on the stakes on here. Oh, man. Yeah. Y'all all from out here? I'm from West Virginia. What, me? Yeah. Well. Come on, bud. What video games y'all be playing? Fortnite. Fortnite. That's My awesome. favorite game of all time is Red Dead 2. Hey, Red Dead you Redemption know 2. That's yeah. Fire. I it love fun. that game. I, can't, I, get bored I think I've played it. it through like four or five times. <laughs> on the hardest level? No, just normal level. Play on the I just level. love the game, yeah. Play like, on the hardest level. There's, well, there'd be like extra content. And you know, like, oh, for real? Yeah. You He's like, like, really? Four times I like played this shit through? <laughs> so now I got to play like a fifth and sixth now. Shit. It's hard as fuck to beat. I like, um, well, Red Dead's a fair. That's fair. Yeah, it's probably my favorite of all time. I really enjoy like uh, like the yeah, Fallout like games and Skyrim. Yeah, cool. You like Assassin's Creed? Yeah. I haven't really played that too yeah. much. Oh yeah, it's crazy. You got on a Ric Flair shirt. He was at the Cavalier game yesterday. Oh, was Walt. he? Yeah. Oh yeah, I love Ric Flair. Come here, Walt. Come on, buddy. Come on, baby. He was up there wooing and shit. And got the crowd going. Woo! You stalked out here. Oh, yeah, that's your blunt, dude. Here. Yeah, you see that the boy gifted me. I walked in. He, oh shit! I'm like, <laughs> God damn, this shit's a. This shit's amazing. Marijuana is God's gift to earth. It literally grows. <laughs> legalize it for everybody. Now agreed. If you stupid people who don't legalize weed don't understand, marijuana only activates when you put a flame to it so everybody can't get high from it, stupid. <laughs> Cook that shit in a brownie. <laughs> Do not eat a nerd rope. 
Don't eat a what? A nerd rope. You ever have one? Nah, I'm cool. Nah, bro, I'm cool. Fuck those. See, I had some edibles. I had a terrible experience with Me edibles. Me too. Bro. I went to the hospital, bro. I ate a, a fucking 300 milligram Reese's. <laughs> and, and an hour later, I fucking projectile vomited everywhere. Me too, bro. Was it green? My nah, shit was it was green. like orange was or something. Bro, listen, I literally vomited across the fucking room, bro. I, I, I puked for like 20 minutes. Literally, straight. Yeah. Straight. Like, I felt like I'm, I was fucking detoxing. Bro. I was dying, bro. I was the happiest person in the world, then the saddest person in the world. And it was horrible. I had the worst headache. Bro, it was like the worst. Bro, listen, I, I like, like, weed's cool and shit. Like, I be high and shit. I, I, I just now start smoking back weed again, so I'm building my tolerance back up. Gotcha. But fucking... I'll never fuck with edibles again because it was like I don't even want to smoke again. It was too. No, nah, no, nah, you can smoke. It's, it's bro, way I'm, tra- I'm traumatized, bro. <laughs> no, nah, I was definitely. It bro, was I a nerve rope. It was a 600 milligram. Gave me 300 of it. Yeah, I don't smoke. So my tolerance yeah, is way too so much. low. Yeah, that's way too much. I went to the hospital. They put a fucking IV in me, passed me out, knocked me out with. Bro, it was scary. I thought yeah, nah, I was dying. Now nah, you, you definitely feel like you was. Fucking my Apple Watch dying. said. Are you going for a run? I was standing still, bro. For real? My heart rate was like bro. 160. It was scary as fuck. I ate a, um, we was in Hartford. <laughs> <laughs> we was in Hartford, Connecticut. <laughs> and they had these fucking donuts. Edible I'm, donuts? Edible. I'm on tour. Damn. So look, I'm on tour and shit. Waze, Breeze, fucking Burner, and Autumn's in there looking at me like, yo, you don't smoke. So don't eat one of them donuts. I'm thinking like, all right, it's just a donut. Like, that's right. good as fuck, huh? <laughs> Bro, these donuts is this big. I eat one of them donuts. I perform. So, I, oh, like I said, I opened. Damn. I was cool at my performance, but at the end, we had to, um, we go out on a Taylor Gang song and we wave the Taylor Gang flags and shit on Wiz's set. <laughs> They're all, so Wiz is on stage <laughs> looking at me, cracking up. Burner and them is all over there losing it. Like, so I'm waving the flag like in a <laughs> Days, bro. <laughs> I'm fighting for my life, bro. So I, I swear to God, bro. It hit you like a train, man. Listen, out of nowhere. I, I swear, he's look the whole tour. He didn't perform the song this fucking long. Oh <laughs> yeah, God, it's taking years, bro. I'm feeling the whole bro, earth time changes, dude. Move, it's weird, bro. I'm like, whoa. I'm really about to die in front of nineteen thousand people. It's sold out, Taylor Gang. I'm <laughs> <laughs> bro, fucks. Super fuck. I've never taken Damn. acid, but that's what I would think acid would be acid's like. What's cool. this nerd room, bro? Yeah. Acid's cool. Acid's good. I took it back in the day. I was I'm traumatized, bro. Acid's like, like you t- ever took shrooms? No. Uh, bro, I don't do, I only drink beer, bro. I don't do shit like that. So when I do this nerd rope, 24. Oh. Uh, but got, I just don't like it. I don't like it. You got time. You got time. You got time, bro. You got time, bro. You got to figure a certain shit like that. Don't You experiment by yourself and with somebody you're super comfortable with. You don't, with all of us right now, I wouldn't give you no acid. You got to be super comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Like, go do that shit and play the video game or something. So you don't trip out, like, trip out bad. Chance made me want to do it when he came out with acid rap. I was like, fuck, I'm doing acid, man. I got to do acid. even he did that shit by so, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we was yeah, all like a little, little tab on the really? time. Yeah, yeah. Sucked its little tab on yeah, the time. Yeah, when he came pause. out, I was like, bro, I gotta do it. But I didn't. I wanted to. I was like 15, so. Yeah, no, no. Acid at 15 yeah. is insane. Don't acid. <laughs> no, I feel like you gotta be a little bit more. I was like 27 when I did yeah. acid. When I did acid, I think I was like 21. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, it, yeah. What does it look like? I'm thinking it looks That's like this. It looks yeah, like a little piece of paper. Yeah. Like but the Listerine like strips. Remember those you put for like fresh no, breath? No, it's literally like a little piece of paper, like this big. Wow. Mm-hmm. Literally, oh. they dip into something, bro. It's, it's so small, bro. You'll, you'll, it's smaller than a little. Like when Terrence told you he drank a vial of that shit. Yeah. That's, That's why, why he, he went did crazy what he did. Before, like, they usually dip the paper and, uh, in the vial, and you eat a piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah. He drank the vial. Oh shit! Damn. Damn. Like, That's our our buddy in the UFC. He went yeah. crazy, bro. Before he went in there, he went like fighting cops and shit. Like, yeah, he took, he yeah, he took shrooms and drank whatever was left in the vial of acid. <laughs> Yeah, he lost it. He said he was yeah. fighting aliens and shit. Yeah, he was fighting, fighting demons. And I'm like, well, yeah, His that's, heart that's where twice. you go. He yeah. died like two or three times mm-hmm. on the hospital. Yeah. 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 And now yeah. he fights in the USC, though. Yeah. I mean, he, some shit. I mean, yeah. I mean he, he fought for his life. He literally, uh, whatever his purpose was, he went through that shit and can't, and like you say, he died two or three times because it's like, acid, bro, it's, it's intense, bro. That yeah. shit's like, view. 
as soon as you as soon as it hits you, it's you in whatever the fuck you in. So it's instant. It's not like the, the <coughs> nah, edibles, like you know the edibles. It'll take, it'll take, 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 it'll take a little bit, like forty five minutes. Okay. But once you're in, you're in. Your nerve roots said thirty minutes. That shit was hitting me in fifteen. Yeah, because you don't have a tolerance. Yeah. You don't have a tolerance. But as it, you get like. Cool you got to build it up. You build up a tolerance, but as it, it, it's it's not nothing you do all the time. <laughs> yeah, at all. No. It's and not. Like he said, the most I've never did a couple times. I have because I did a lot, but like I try to every time the best I could to do it in a situation like he said. The right people the right were there people, yeah, because you can easily go the line, down man. the wrong avenue mm-hmm. in a situation in that, especially if it's your first couple times mm-hmm. where you're going to have a bad trip and then. Who knows what happened? Because you're going to have I've a bad seen trip. A lot. I've seen it go bad trips where a dude was able to handle it and just sit over in a corner all night. Mm-hmm. To dudes that ended up in in jail mm-hmm. or and in the hospital like, because you could they couldn't contain themselves don't because the of the trip. Like stay with you like years later too. They, they can. can. They can. Well, some people how bad are like, was. yeah. Some That's, people are get mentally. I thought fought. I was gonna be stuck in that edible trip. Yo, brother. <laughs> I That's I my homie Dane. Everybody. What's up, bro? I'm saying what's up, bro. Yeah. So yeah, like the acid, you can definitely. If you go super bad, you go super bad. But it's inevitable you're gonna have a bad trip just cause it's like, you're on a psychedelic, bro. So it's taking you to a higher state of mass. So whatever you ever had to deal with, you gonna deal with it. Like, like you just gotta control yourself. Cause I took, me on person, personally, I, I took not, the- um, You're not blind for him too, so you can have one too. I don't deal with, I don't deal with like, I don't deal with death well. So I lost my grandma. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. place so, to be right, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> so when I lost my grandma, I fucking I took my. That's when I did my shrooms. Damn. And, and it helped me get over that shit. Like it helped me cry. It helped me go to the fucking gravesite. Lord's prayer. Yeah. So next, no, next time you watch that video and you look in my eyes, I'm high as all hell. I'm on shrooms at my grandma's gravesite. Like that's the first time I went to see my homie did and my grandma wow. did. Yeah, I'm scared because my mom, she passed away too. She wanted me to do it with her. She's like, you won't do it with nobody but me. And then yeah. she passed away, so I'm like, I can't do it now. I was yeah. like, fuck that. Something like crazy. Go do it at her gravesite, bro. That's smart. I sit there because doing shrooms in the woods is amazing. Oh, I mean, they do that therapy okay. now for yeah. people out like Cali and other places. Yeah, they, they do. They, therapy. Therapy. they do really? ketamine, yeah. shrooms. Yeah. They do. Washka. Oh, dude, microdose is amazing, yeah. dude. I was doing uh, like 0. 0.3, 0. 0.4 mm-hmm. every day. Or not every day, but like three or four times a week. Mm-hmm. And just micro dosing. candy bars now, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. My you buddy, can take like a little. My buddy ate the. It says God bar. level, actually. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you eat so many mm-hmm. pieces, yeah, you exactly. ate the whole thing at work. Yeah, you'll see the yeah, devil's cool. dick if you eat the whole thing. Yeah, you'll sure. definitely see some crazy shit. That's crazy. How bro, can you and work crazy. on that shit? Bro, How can you some, do that? I mean, once you. <laughs> tolerance. Once yeah. you're your tolerance. And it's like, this is the shroom hat. This is what it's going to feel like. As soon as you start to feel what your fingers really feel like. And as crazy as it sounds, bro. But no, it, you're right. You're 100% right with that like, fucking edible. My teeth. I could feel it. I could feel my teeth, man. It was fucking <laughs> weird. I like, told that my teeth are burning. In the, I didn't eat anything all day. Yeah. So I just had my coffee. And I feel like that enhanced it. Like, I, it was making shit hot. Might have. Like, bro, it yeah, was it definitely might fucking have. crazy. So I'm going to tell you, when you try shrooms, if you don't I'm want, not trying. No. I don't even like regular when shrooms do, on pizza. If you try, <laughs> do not... You, if you don't want enhanced, do not drink nothing citrusy. Citrus, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it like it's like a booster. Booster, yeah, yeah it's a booster. It's like yeah. hitting NOS on the car. Yeah. Like, yeah. like when I'm when I'm on them shrooms, I'm definitely having some orange juice with some nah, real man. orange juice. Oh with yeah, gold. there's people that that's how I used to. T- I took it every time. It's yeah. all I would have <laughs> orange juice. I throw pour up right on top of that orange juice. Literally. Boom, go. Don't huh? you have to throw up? No, Two of my buddies did that. No, no ayahuasca, <laughs> or that makes it worse, right? That's like ayahuasca. Yeah, ayahuasca. Yeah, you got to throw up on that. Yeah, but no, yeah, not shrooms, shrooms. You better not be throwing yeah, up. You better not. You throw up on shrooms. You, you ain't taking those. You took some bullshit. <laughs> yeah. When I eat shrooms, nigga, okay. I so can they... take a whole fucking bottle of tequila to the neck and like it's water. Like, wow, for real? For sure. Yeah. You took that fish. Yeah. Damn. I think it was two, three years ago. I'm just sitting in the house by myself. Yeah. I had to kick my homegirl out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said Mexican. She had bright red hair. I'm like, you got a leash. I'm like, your hair is vibrating. Yeah, it's vi- <laughs> nah, real shit, bro. It's vibrating. Every time she smiles, she looked like a cat from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> bro, that's uh, hilarious. Wow. Can never look at her again. Yo, watching Alice in Wonderland off of shrooms is a time, too. <laughs> Kurt, you ever watch oh, Adventure wow. Time off of shrooms? Oh my, <laughs> nigga, Mordecai Rick be tripping. <laughs> <laughs> they be tripping. <laughs> so what do you mean tolerance though? Like tolerance with just anything? Just yeah. like if right. smoking weed? Anytime you put a drug in your body, you'd have no tolerance. Well, yeah, but. but it's like anything, it builds so up. Yeah. Since you smoke a lot of weed, you'd be fine with shrooms? 
Is what you're saying? Or you no. gotta build your tolerance. Oh, that's a different oh, true. You yeah, that's build different. Your tolerance that's a different drug. Yeah. That's yeah. like saying, like, just because I smoke weed, yeah. I can go drink a bottle of tequila. Hell no. That ain't it's always. two different things. It's two different yeah. things. It's the same it's, principle it's as It's not that. the same type of high as smoke no. weed. Oh, okay. No. No. Shroom high and acid high is comparable to how you feel on ecstasy and shit like that. And and, and it's still not even that because it's you, you hallucinating. Like, the more you eat, the more you see. Like, bro, you can't when even I start say you puking, losing, like losing. you said, I started puking, bro. Bro, you ain't gonna puke, bro. I, no, on the uh, no, you on the edible, edible, you'll puke because I was like, puking like crazy, just coffee, bro. And it was, mm, I did a green apple much. nerd rope, so it was oh, green, yeah, bro. Cool. It was, I was so paranoid in my head, I kept telling. Why is it green? <laughs> Why am I puking green? I, I thought it was dying, dude. Yo, yeah, I gave my sister an edible before, and she was sitting at my mom we, we, on Easter. It was like oh, six years shit. ago on Easter. on Easter. Gave her edible, and we was all sitting in a living room. And she's sitting there, and I'm like, are you okay? She said, are you trying to kill me? I said, what are you talking about, bro? It was just an edible. I'm like, she, she done had a panic attack. Yeah. Oh, I did for it's, sure. Yeah, it's not I for used everybody. to take Zoloft because I used to have panic attacks. Oh, yeah. So I don't take nothing now for it. So I think that shit just a com- combination of everything, bro. That's just, Dang. No. I felt like I was turning in, like evolving into like a new fucking person. Like, no. And I thought I was stuck in that no. time frame. No, that shit's insane. I'm curious about your name though, Fed. That's my last name. Yeah, but the God. Where's the God from? Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Oh, damn. Didn't the creator just pass away? Yeah, R.I.P. Akira Toriyama. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. Legend. I never watched it. I mean, I've watched some of it like with no my real. cousin, but I never like went through with it. Dragon Ball Z is the best shit in the world. Elite. I'm an Avatar the, at the last Airbender fan. Airbender's Air, Air good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. What's up? Do you guys like the new live action? I never got into was Dragon Ball Z for some reason. Me either. Why? I just, I just never really no watched it. No one put it. me on you to like it. anime though, right? I like some, yeah. Some, okay. Which yeah. animes do you like? Like, I like the... So people tell me this isn't really anime, but I like the Miyazaki movies. Like, uh, like I mean, they're like... Princess yeah. Mononoke. Like, technically they're anime, but yeah. people always like, that's it's not anime. anime. Style, but it's yeah. But yeah. like, there's a... Like, I like One Punch Man. Okay. I, I okay, like, One Punch is cool. Oh, uh, shit. I can't think of half of them. Uh, Fooly Cooly. I saw the first season of Fooly Cooly. I like that. Uh... Just random shit, random shit. Random shit. You know what I mean? That people recommended it. I watched you, it. Though. You ever watch Attack on Titan? No, but I see it all the time. Attack on Titan is like comparable to Game of Thrones. Oh, really? Yeah, that's just good. I might check that out. The reason, yeah. like, I strayed away from Dragon Ball Z just because I, there's so much of it. No, so, like, no biased, no biased. Attack on Titan is the greatest anime ever, but yeah. Dragon Ball Z is just the greatest anime ever. I yeah. feel like and everyone well, liked it. That's why I didn't want to watch it either. Huh? Too, whenever I was yeah, I'm not getting into it either. Bro, sit down and watch that shit, and you'd be like, "Damn, this shit's on." This I know it though. It's so popular. Like everyone's like, uh, like everyone did that shit in school. But it's like when you watch it from okay. from Dragon Ball up, bro. It's like he ain't had no family, bro. Like on some fucking Superman shit, like. Like, you know, and he's a sand nigga. They kicked him off like Krypton, sent him to fucking Earth. <laughs> yeah. Master Roshi found him. Well, Granddad Gohan found the motherfucker and raised him up. He had a tail. Like, it's a story. They cut his fucking tail because he's too fucking powerful. And then he, like you said, had no family. Like Hellboy, kind of. You watch Hellboy? Yeah, yeah, Low yeah. Key. It's definitely kind of like that. Hellboy's fire. Like Dragon Ball Z, deep as hell. I've seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. My friend talked about mm-hmm. Full, Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, yeah, Full Metal is crazy. My friend said, <laughs> yeah. my boy said that one in Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop, Bebop. yeah. He said those are the two bits. That's my girl's so favorite watch one. watch the cartoon and then you can watch it live. Yeah, no, that's when I'm watching the cartoon right now. Yeah, so watch the cartoon and then watch it live. Netflix got a live Cowboy Bebop. It's pretty mm-hmm. good. I just, I don't get into the, the, the type of anime like that. I yeah. don't know. I just never really, but people don't consider Avatar anime. I think it's it is. Not. Avatar is an American cartoon. But it was made by all... Uh, Asian people, correct? Inspired by, <laughs> inspired it's by, by an Asian. But yeah, well, that's no, that's well, no <laughs> but it's the same style. Yeah, it's no, it's inspired by it. But you got to figure like, anime has got subs and dubs. Avatar is straight American. Yeah, true. And the themes aren't anime. And, or anime or not, or not. Like not. Yeah, flat. Yeah. You ain't seeing nobody like, down. Yeah, Avatar. well, Aang's just talking about like he doesn't want to hurt anyone and he just that, kills like so many that, Fire that, Nation. That's not, that's not anime. Like, anime yeah. is. Yeah. Would have been like, yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. The fire lord would have been head chopped off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you feel me? If that was Japanese, man. man. Sozin, um, what's um, fucking uh, the prince's name, Juka Judo, fucking um, Zuko. Yeah, Zuko. Yeah, yeah, Zuko. yeah, man. Yeah. I ain't would have fucked him up, he would have been fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. 
I yeah. like Uncle Iroh. Aang would have had 10 forms by now if it was anime. He would have been, <laughs> been a blue arrow or something shooting <laughs> through somebody's head. I love Avatar, though. Did you watch uh, the live action? Yeah, the live action was I amazing. It. It's pretty I, good. I, yeah, it's pretty good. The, the new one? Yeah, just came on Netflix. Out? Okay, I thought about it's, checking that it's out. It's pretty good. Oh, you'll, you'll like it. You'll I be- did watch... Uh, their live action version of One Piece. One Piece that, that was, was fire. That was yeah, awesome. That was I never watched anime and I just watched the live action. Yeah. That was awesome. So, bro, the cartoons are way more in depth. And there's like fucking yeah. 500 That's episodes. That's on right? there too. Yeah. I think I'm going to start watching yeah, so that. So, the one, this filler. So, if you watch oh, the really? One Piece, that. if you watch that. the One Piece joint, um, after you watch it live, then go to the cartoon episode 124, and that's one twenty four. Yeah, all right, back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because the live action was awesome. I can't wait for mm-hmm. the next one. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you'll, you'll love it. Bro, so one twenty four, like, like that yeah. goes at the end of that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like it, it takes out a lot of the fillers and stuff. Like that's that's what we fucking people up on anime. <laughs> there's so many episodes in between, like and fucking SpongeBob. And yeah, <laughs> like but, there's just no con. Or, no, there's uh, no nothing. But that's why I can't yeah. watch Star Wars, bro. I've never seen a full Star Wars movie. I've never, I've never watched Star Wars, Star Trek. See, Star Trek that. is fire. See, yeah. I never watched any of That's those. another one I never really got into. Yes, but Star Trek is more straight to the point. Like Star Wars, be like, damn, it's, this is this movie sixteen hours of <laughs> Princess Leia walking through a desert. Yeah, and then it was like a little fight scene, like Dune. Like everybody's in a Dune right now. I can't. Yeah, wow. But the thing about Dune, that first movie, yeah. like I'm, I, I'm fucking with the book. That first movie really is only probably like the first twenty chapters, but like the first fifteen chapters of the book. Yeah, I've heard Dune. Yeah, like the first movie of Dune ain't really. It's like the intro. They really shouldn't have made it a movie. I don't know how to worry. Like, they should have did a series on some shit. They should have did a series. Yeah. It, it, it'd be like essentially like niggas say we dropping a Batman movie, but the whole fucking first hour and forty minutes was this nigga Bruce Parent being so. killed. <laughs> oh yeah, I would have been mad as hell. Like, that, that's what like we mean. already know your parents are dead, bro. Yeah. Just smoke them in the alleyway in every Batman movie <laughs> and get it cracking. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna hold you though. Y'all, y'all down with the y'all watch the boys? Yeah, I love the boys. The boys fucked up. The, the boys and Invincible fucked up the game. There will never, we will never take Marvel or DC series again. Yeah, Homelander is a motherfucker. Yes, he Soldier is. Boy is fucking. Great. Uh, Soldier Boy is great. <laughs> He's great. You know it's about to come back on. Yeah, I'm yeah, psyched. I'm tweaking. I haven't watched any of the spinoff show, but I heard that's just as good. You'll like it. Yeah. Yeah. You good, bro? You'll like that a lot. You'll fuck with that. Hell yeah. Yeah, you'll fuck with hey, that. Yeah, I got pizza if you guys are hungry. It's coming to the yeah. This shit is dope. I like this a lot. I see your Star Wars stuff. I seen the look in your eyes. You took that one personal, huh? No, I didn't. I just, like, the <laughs> when only... he said fuck Star Wars, and I nah. seen Star Wars, I was like, oh shit. The new you ones. You the force on you. The, the like new Star ones Wars. suck. The original ones are the shit I really yeah, like. My mom loves Star Wars. Yeah. Man, it's like, just. It's classic tale of like. I was a casual good with it. Like I would like like the good parts and stuff, but I never could really like like yeah. you said sit down and watch the whole it's thing. It's so hard to watch it, bro, because I don't even know what I'm watching. Yeah, the, the I just first... know Darth Vader is just him, and fucking Obi Wan Kenobi is like, ain't it that his son for real? Was Darth Vader's son or some shit? No, he was like no, the he, guy that taught him. He, yeah, like, he took was, him under his wing. Exactly. Yeah, he okay. was taught him everything uh, new and they said fuck you bro and then oh yeah that's fucked up no he had a reason he did he did Uh, uh, oh nah and so like the nigga who vader was before he came vader he was like anakin skywalker yeah okay they say he the chosen one he's supposed to lead that niggas in the oh um, exactly he's he's like the night king yeah Uh, yeah, kind of yeah but he went evil fucked up though because first they like oh yeah well you can sit on the council but you can't be a master what Oh, they tried to hold Darth Vader. They, they did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm about to really go watch this shit now. <laughs> they didn't even want to make him a Jedi Knight, even though niggas got all the skill and everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they. And they were telling. It's like, yeah. bitch, I'm the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because it's cause Yoda sensed like Evil the dark him. side of the Force or whatever. Yeah, he was. Come to the dark. Come to the dark side. So then, when they got the senator, yeah, the emperor. They essentially had, they like, go spy on him. Uh-huh. And then they like, you too close to the emperor, we don't trust you. No. Whoa. So, and the emperor. It was the death of Qui-Gon that really was his downfall. I think I think if Qui-Gon would have lived, he he would have had, like, Darth Vader know, a better cool. influence in his life. So, Did he get broken hearted, too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what fuck. That's what it was. Jedi can't have bitches. That's what it was. Oh. He had a bitch. Oh. He got yeah. broken hearted. He said, fuck that. that host. Damn, I ain't gonna hold you. I might be like Darth Vader for real. Like that. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, he got belly yeah, down. Yeah, he, he had a fucked up life for sure. Like, he was destined to be evil, bro. That nigga went over there. He said he, that's what you be seeing a TikTok clip. Yeah, like I slaughtered him. 
<laughs> like animals. Slaughter them all, yeah. That's where it come from, because he went and took all them niggas out. Because they killed his rage. Because they killed his mom. So yeah. he's John Wick for real. Hey. Kind of, yeah. It's really him. Yeah, yeah. oh, shit. shit. Yeah, because I'm looking at the comic you got over there, and it's like, all right, you got, what's the, the robot nigga, Princess Leia, and it's the, C- the Anakin that's, or Obi? That's C-3PO and R2-D2. Yeah, R2-D2. And that's Luke. There, Luke yeah. Oh, Skywalker, yeah. Yeah, that's that was Anakin's son. son, yeah. Okay, okay. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, now I know what the what the story is. Now I'm going to try to watch it. I think, I think the second movie in the original series Empire Strikes Back is the best one I okay. sound like the quality of the old old ones I can't nah, they say them as the best ones you they gotta watch yeah. you have I to watch the prequels I like more now than I did yeah because the new series were so bad okay. like it kind of made me love the prequels a lot you don't more. like the Mandalorian the Mandalorian was good I didn't watch the most recent season of the last one so what but- is like Yoda's purpose, because like I'm, I don't understand what's going on in I just know he's just trying to. He's just a Jedi it's master. Like Uncle Iroh, bro. Just, oh, yeah. for part of the Uncle Jedi like Uncle Iroh, teaching he's everyone weird, his knowledge. A but weird species. Of what alien. made him? What made him so special as a baby? As a baby, you know, as, a ba- because, as you, baby Yoda. You know he's trying to like. Why was he oh, here? Mean, Mandalorian. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't really like. I said I didn't finish it. But. Okay. Okay. But I felt like that first one was a good start for the new series. I thought it was a good start. And I with, wanted to see where it went. But it's like the second movie just said, fuck everything you did with in the Finn, first movie. With, when the the Stormtrooper was like an actual person? Yeah. Like, like he had a storyline going yeah. and then he was just kind of like a background yeah. character. I, I went and watched that in the movies. That was pretty good. DC's about to start over though. They got um, Marvel's creator over there now. Oh, yeah. Oh, the one oh yeah. On James Gunn. Oh, yeah, James Gunn. Yeah, James Gunn. Yeah, he did a good job at Suicide Squad. Yeah, Peacemaker's yeah. fucking fire. John Cena killed that shit. Yeah, no, that shit's Peace hilarious. Peacemaker's Peace real good. I didn't think it'd be good, but that shit's like low-key up there with Deadpool. It reminds me of like the yeah. first like rated R like superheroes pretty far. What, what was that sure. one... Um, what was the one superhero series that... It was a real comic book style. It was on HBO, but they never got a chance to finish it. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know. It was recent too. Fuck. I I like it wasn't Daredevil. Was it? No, it wasn't Daredevil. It, um, it, it had like, fuck. That's uh, Watchmen. Yeah, I think there was only one season of it though, because yeah. it kind of wrapped up pretty nicely in the end. I think. They, they fucked up Morbius. Did good. you watch Morbius? Oh, yeah. yeah, Morbius. Is I fucked. didn't watch it because I heard it was so fucked yeah, up. Yeah, that's it. Could have been good. They just rushed everything. It was just him fighting the whole fucking movie. Literally. They would have like stretched it out, like made it a good movie or a series. She made a series on Netflix. I've seen a good movie for every superhero. I've never seen a Superman movie I liked. I don't like Superman. I like Man of Steel. I like it. It you gets like, a lot of hate, but I I'm not a Superman it. fan. Yeah, I'm not a Superman fan at all. Me either. But then... Spider-Man is my favorite. Spider-Man is a good Spider-Man is, yeah. For Joker sure. is my favorite, but I love Batman. Yeah, yeah I'm Joker's a Spider-Man. Shit. I got, I got uh, Daryl Banks drawn Joker on Batman number zero. Damn. Sheesh. And Daryl yeah. Banks... That's Darryl, original Batman zero right there? No, that's like a newer, like New 52. Oh, new, okay. But uh, Daryl Banks created uh, Kyle Rayner Green Lantern. Jeez. And he wrote for DC for years, but yeah. he goes to Bill's Books around here and like yeah. does commissions. Commission 40, for 40 bucks, he drew a Joker on there for me that's pretty fucking sweet. But yeah, that's hand drawn. That's Damn, fucking bro. crazy. Yeah. Green Iron, Green Arrow. Yeah, Green Arrow. Like, I love Green Arrow. He's oh, probably yeah. my favorite for okay. sure. Okay. He's a, he's my dude. My other bro, this was, he... was dope. The Big that's Lebowski. Bad. Yeah, it's like one of my remember, favorite movies of all time. But remember, uh, what Val Venus used to call this off? Oh, the big Balboski. Bal- yeah, yeah, the big Balboski. Yeah, Val Venus, man. He's a big weed guy now, too. Oh, for real? Yeah, he's got like a couple dispensary. He does like YouTube videos just promoting <laughs> strains and shit. Yeah. Val Venus, if you're watching this, I almost got expelled from school being you in first grade. <laughs> oh, good. With, with a towel or something? Yeah. 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 Like, nah, so I had a coat. And I, <laughs> I took the coat off and was like, "Hello, ladies!" Ah, <laughs> but I did it to my teacher. Oh damn! Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, she that's, wasn't feeling that. Shit. That's where you went wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some pizza. <laughs> go for it, man. This is super dope. This is yeah. good as fuck. It's like it's garlic, like garlic bread. bread. Yeah, people love pizza oven out here. Yeah, this is different. This is a local. Hey, so we're eating. Pe- <laughs> he's eating pizza oven pizza. There's different locations. So, but for people now, this is from West Tusk. Uh, Cause it does matter because like they'll upgrade their ovens mm-hmm. and different things, hmm. so you can tell when they upgraded and maybe got like because when they started getting new ovens, mm-hmm. you could tell they didn't figure out the right cook time and how to do it because it was a new oven, so it wasn't maybe 
It wasn't the same. It wasn't the same, right? So for a while there, they struggled and it wasn't good. So now they're they're like different places honing shit in. So I was from West Tusk. And uh, this is the first time ever having it. So this is is amazing. It's fire. And then they're eating a uh, pepperoni double cheese and a sausage Sausage. banana pepper. Sausage, pepperoni, banana pepper. It's just good. So what made you want to start doing a podcast, bro? So uh, Mark and I worked together at a donut shop. We were banging out donuts together, making donuts and shit, right? And... uh, me and him just vibe. We t- we vibe like talking about MMA, uh, different shit like that. So then he smoked weed, I smoked weed. So boom, that clicked. That, right there. that clicked right, right there. Right. I ended up coming over weed to his place, fire. smoking weed. And then I was always I got two kids and a wife or whatever. So uh-huh. I would well, it started with I would get like Saturday nights eight nine o'clock. Mm. Like my daughter would go to bed. She was you know young, one two years old. The wife she's at home you know mm-hmm. just chilling she or goes to bed early so i'd come over here nine ten o'clock at night we'd just sit here and watch usc smoke weed and just shoot, shoot shit. the shit for like three years <laughs> yeah and then finally he was like you just want to fucking record it and put it out and i'm like all right bad like i don't give a fuck so we did audio just, just audio, audio yeah. for the longest time because we were just smoking weed weed wasn't legal like we didn't know we were going in life like yeah I never really liked putting that kind of shit out publicly because right. with jobs and shit, or you never right. know. Right. But then we came what it is. I got the job that I have now. So it just don't fucking it matter. It don't matter no more. Yeah. So, yeah. so then we just went to video. So then we just, for the lot, like literally for 60 set or for out of 69 episodes, because it's episode 69. 67 of them never had a fucking actual guest. You were actually the second guest we've ever had. Thank you. It oh, was, it is you. So almost, we had guests, but they were just so like, you were like, OG. you know, OG, dude. It's like, you know, the first person tried to take the virginity, but I'm the cherry popper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, sure. you know, because you know, if you, if you, the first dude who didn't hit her, who hit her, and you she didn't hit it right. You and didn't, didn't hit it right. <laughs> Terrence didn't hit it right. Yeah. You ain't popped that cherry. Yeah. So you ain't taking virginity. You just got your virginity taken. Yeah, we had to call in the the, the real deal yeah, here. Yeah, I popped the chicken. So, <laughs> so we but, eat pizza and so pizza. yeah. So we literally just say, I mean, we've had a couple of buddies come over, but it was nothing like whatever yeah, you know, just so, friends or work people or something. Yeah. Dope. But so then we were just cool. like, fuck it. Like we started getting some views. Actually, my daughter's been on here a couple of times. Where oh, yeah. she, uh, Shit, she got a lot of views too. <laughs> yeah, she has over like, 100,000 views, yeah. I think herself, in like three videos. Yeah. Oh, bro? Yeah. Yeah, she I'm got like 60,000 and like 40,000 <laughs> views. Uh, she just re- reacts to Blackpink. I don't know if you know who they are. It's like an Asian girl. My oh, wife's wow. from Taiwan. Uh, yeah. she's fresh off the boat uh, so, <laughs> uh, yeah so like so she watches a lot of the, like Asian shit so like my daughter got into like this black pink and it's a real big like Asian K-pop. girl band like a K-pop yeah. type yeah, style sure. thing and so she came over here because one of the things we do is reactions to music videos movie trailers yeah. and different shit like that so she introduced us to black pink oh, wow. and black yeah. pink has a huge following and like I said, she has like sixty thousand and forty thousand or something. Or, yeah, something like that. Yeah, she has like a hundred, at least forty something. Couple forty thousand and a third. She has over a hundred thousand views herself in like three yeah. videos. Whoa! Just sure. from her coming on here and reacting and reacting, and she, and she got, she helped us get subs and different shit like that. But that's fire. For but sure. now we're up to like. I don't know. We're at like 1.6, 1. 1.7 thousand subscribers sure. yeah, right now. So we're actually monetized now. So you're moving. And yeah. shit like that. So we're we're in the right direction Most now. So <laughs> we're just like you, man. Just like you said, we're trying to, like you said in the beginning, stay consistent, yeah, stay in the course, it, just, and just shit like that. Doing it's that hard thing. to stay in the course. Yeah. Sometimes you be like, man, what the fuck am I doing? And it's just, <laughs> but it's sure. cool. It's honestly what's been helpful, though, is literally getting our first two guests is is finding people like you that's yeah. cool as fuck willing to willing to do this and come smoke some weed, eat some pizza and shoot the shit with us. Listen, like absolutely. we didn't think it'd be that well, my easy reach out to, to y'all, like and y'all say no to free weed, pizza, and and vibes. Pep- Look, pizza and weed is cool. Pepsi, 
It's about to be at a premium price. <laughs> this shit is not cheap to just be giving away. See, yeah, this, nah, this yeah. is what I'm trying it's to go expensive. for. Swisher. Swisher. I, I smoke too many of these damn Swishers yeah, to be lot. having to pay for them and put them on. I, this, is, this box. Swisher, I have a box. Get with my guys. Sitting here. Every <laughs> Wiz would hate that because he cone only, but... Yeah. I was I I sit here with a box every episode of this and Red Bull for hopefully we one day. We was in the studio one day. And somebody <laughs> rolled up, a, but you, you know y'all smoke woods. <clears throat> you so, get that fucking shit out of well, here. No, he ain't say that. So look, the dude who's smoking the wood in the studio section called him Back Panther, like Backwood Panther. <laughs> <laughs> it was Back Panther for the whole joint. <laughs> that shit's fucking hilarious. Like no, they're they're true to the papers, but like he's not one of them smokers. He'd be like, "Oh, you can't smoke blunts around me or nothing." He yeah, just he, he just, won't he smoke your blunt. Fucker. Yeah, gotcha. Weird. Yeah, that's cool. He definitely ain't going to switch on them papers though, yeah. ever. No, what? that should be crazy. I tried to smoke with him one time. You're the fuck right. <laughs> I was begging for a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, bro! I was so fucking high. I needed some lettuce to come back to life. <laughs> he made smoking like just as cool as Snoop Dogg did. Yeah. Honestly, like for the newer generation, for, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I smoked my first blunt in the projects behind a, um, a dumpster. Really? Yeah. Some some dirt weed in a big ass Philly. Remember Philly blunts? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Feel like Titans and shit like yeah. that, you know, the big boys. Literally. Dude, I smoked, first time I smoked weed was out of a Pepsi can. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That was the first time I actually I'm inhaled. But I'm almost a cocaine. 40 though. Bro. Like seventh grade, I was doing it for some girls, me and my <laughs> buddy, and he made me smoke. Shit, this was back though in like yeah, mine was 90 probably. something though. Wow. Like, was, yeah, see, I graduated in 04. Yeah, so this was probably like 90 something. It was the first time I smoked weed. That's it was my, out of a soda can. Bro, I was born in 1993 and you was already smoking weed. I was born in 99. I graduated in 04. I was born in 87. You was born in 87? Yeah. Yeah, I was born in 85. Oh, wow. 927, 82, maybe. Oh, y'all was born right out of Lil Wayne and shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we got the witness Lil Wayne for. That's, that's oh, my yeah, favorite bro. Bro. My mom was born in 70, 75. Yeah, so I was going to ask you, who is, like, who is your inspirations? A couple of them. Like, not necessarily, like, who's your top, like, rap, my but who is... My is Master P, Jay-Z, Birdman, like, Wiz. Oh, uh, make them say, oh, uh, you're about to all about cash. Uh, yeah. I got a, I got Master P t- tattoo right here. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Oh, hell yeah. That's dope. Nice. Hell yeah. He's my biggest inspiration, because this is, like... His quotes on Instagram are awesome. It's not even that, bro. It's just nobody believed in him. Like, at all. Like, nobody believed in him. He was he came from nothing. And he just had a brilliant mind. So mm-hmm. on top of him being mutual, he was just brilliant. Like, he just knew what he wanted. He stood on that shit. Yeah. And that shit sticks with me all the time. When Master P was like, he turned down like a million dollars and he had $500 in his bank account. Damn. And he grew that shit to what four hundred plus million. Yeah, fuck. That shit's inspirational. Bro. That's from the fucking project. He, bro, on some real shit like real life superheroes, like fuck fictional Batman and shit. Like, bro, that motherfucker's a rapper. He went to the NBA. His fucking sons are successful. He's alive. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And yeah. he's from dirt shit. That's the fucking. That's what people come to America for. For yeah. shit like that. American dream. That's the fucking real American dream. Like yeah, you are from sure. dirt shit. You got motherfuckers basically spitting your face when you had five hundred. Like knowing what you want to do, your goals and aspirations. They didn't respect and believe what you did until you did that shit. And damn, that shit's crazy. Now he got some fucking cereal in Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got how many Snoop? They got like Snoop Loops or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Uh-huh. Who does those chips? They got them chips the now, rap like snacks. rap snacks. snacks. Yeah, yeah, them rap That's snacks. Yeah, is oh, that? Yeah, okay. he does the rap snacks. Yeah. Cause on the honey barbecue bag, little Remyos on there. Oh yeah, just mm-hmm. I think I had the little baby ones. They were hot. Dude, I was like, what? They were too spicy. How- I know better, but from like them back in the day, though, it's like right now, if you play uh, back that ass up, you can find out which mom, and they're like. That's 40 was a was freak all, back yeah. in the day. I love that yeah. shit. You turn that on, you can see him just start. They might not even go, but you can just see their hips where they're at just start going a little like. You can so, see who the freaks were back in the day. I be wanting to. So, you know, Freak Nick was a big thing in the like, 90s. Yeah. I wonder. I asked my mom if she ever go to that shit. She said, no. Nah. So I was, I was so happy. <laughs> my mom ain't go to Freak Nick because the stories I hear about that shit was insane. What was that? What's Freak Nick? Freak- <laughs> I'm too young. So Freak oh, Nick started as a um, 
a gathering of people at Morehouse and Clark University in Atlanta, and it turned into a fucking freak festival. Like people leaving, like you know how where people will go to Miami for spring break. Yeah, yeah. People will go to Atlanta for freak night. Uh, so was like, it so like no. everyone had to get high to be there. No, Google like- it on your phone. Put it, it's like, it's like, look it up. You gonna see some crazy. Like you gonna see my fuckers. Say it was all of us leaning on a BMW, holding a girl's ass cheeks open. Wow. Freak Nick. N-I-C-K? <laughs> yep. No, N-I-K. Atlanta Freak Nick. You gonna see some shit. You, yeah, it's borderline porn, so take your safe search off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's Change a spring break settings. festival, yeah. In yeah. Atlanta, Georgia. Was initially attended by students enrolled at historically <laughs> black colleges and universities in the... Mm-hmm. That's well, fire. That. That's crazy. Mm. Do well. Commenting on the <laughs> lady on the You're like, mom, did you go to this? Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> huh? Gotta you gotta ask nowadays. What y'all look. think of the pizza over there? You like it? Good. Hell yeah. Nice. They got something new every day. Hulu got a documentary coming out on Freak Nick, so that's why really? I asked my mom. Like, if I see you on this fucking shit, <laughs> <laughs> she's one of the people sitting down doing questions. I'm like, gonna fucking lose my mind. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm really tripping. Losing my mind, uh, bro. I lose my mind. I see my mom at Freak Nick. See my mom in a bar be awkward sometimes. I'd be like, wow. This is what this is what I do now. <laughs> Come sit with you and have drinks. <laughs> you got a brother and sister? Right there? Yeah, I'm the oldest. I got a little brother and a little sister. Nice. Can you pull the mic up? Oh yeah, my bad. It's just too so far away. Yeah, I'm a piece. Of, I'm, I'm the I'm the piece. I'm the piece of shit that had to go through everything so they can not be pieces of shit. <laughs> like well, that's what's up. We learned from you. Yeah, I'm a four time felon and my sister's a RN and my little brother's a Marine. Mm. Yeah, where's she? Where's she RN at? Huh? Presby or Mercy? I don't fucking know. She uh, she hates work. My sister fucking hates <laughs> yeah. work. But she's doing very good. Oh, yeah. But yeah, criminal, felon, nurse, Marine. It's like Xing them down, like, okay, nope, yep. We yeah, are the yeah, model American, American family. I was a felon yeah. until we have this, I was a felon until we had, we have this chance program oh, here. yeah, we don't got that in Pennsylvania. We're Commonwealth. They hate us. Yeah, so yeah. we, I got, I had to do a year-long program where I had to, it's, it was like broke down in sections, but I had to piss three days a week oh, for the no. first four months. You couldn't Monday, speak. Wednesday, That's Friday. Right. No, nah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I had to drop piss. Yeah. And then for the last six months, I was on color code. Yeah. So I had to call every fucking morning or at the <laughs> night before to see if my color was called. And if your color was called, like you call me like tomorrow's color is blue. And yeah. if you're blue, you had to show up at 830 and piss in a cup. And it Damn. was just random as fuck. God, fuck? That is tra- That's go- crazy. Oh, dude, I had to go to court once a week. What? Wow, court once a week is insane. For um, what was the program called? <laughs> chance, and you you had to go once a week and go in front of a judge, and he would just look at. You. It was just it was an inconvenience. <laughs> it was so <laughs> much at, of an inconvenience. With disgust, <laughs> you like, had to do that for three months. You had to go you. once a week. Yo, hold on. And and then then court you went for a judge. <laughs> And he was like, you're doing good. Keep up the good work. Or if you fucked up, that's when they would send you back to prison. They would just send you to prison from there with your oh, family. that is insane. He but if you didn't first. fuck up for one year in this program and you passed all your drug tests and you went to the AAs, they literally picked up your thing and put it through a shredder. Oh, bro. Yeah, I go buy a gun. I get, That's why I got the job I got now. That shit is insane. Yeah, as long as it wasn't a violent felony, though. If it was anything yeah. drug-related... That's awesome. You can get it taken away. You can get it taken away. As long as there was no violent crime with listen it. Listen to this. We need a chance program. But I'm <laughs> definitely not going to court once a week. <laughs> How's Taiwan? Oh, it's just so bad. Yeah. You, you, you yeah. love it. All there is is a bunch of, like, anime everywhere. That's all oh, there yeah. is. Anime shit everywhere. Yeah, it's wild. Every shop I go to, it's just anime. I don't even know any of it though. Yeah, but it's I mean, I know right. like Pikachu and like <laughs> like Charizard. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I mean, we, yeah, yeah. B- yeah Bulbasaur, like, obvious one. Yeah, but I don't know anything beyond that. That's crazy because people know Charizard, but don't know he comes from Charmeleon. I just learned this because Pokemon <laughs> Day was the other day. Yeah, you know that? Yeah. Pokemon was the other day. Pokemon and Day. And they were teaching me. I didn't know Pokemon's like a they fault. Evolved. I thought Pikachu was Pikachu. No, but Pikachu is just the baby bitch. He turns uh, into like... Raju. Raju, which is like okay. top dog. I did not know that. So like, I shouldn't I have been ever re- rooting for Pikachu. I used to think Pikachu's He's name like was bottom. Pokemon. I thought that's okay. what Pokemon was. I was like... Nah. Yeah, I didn't all know right. all this shit about... But Ash got a special Pikachu, though, because his Pikachu can compete with the top. Oh really? So yeah. I need to, oh, he's a one on one though. So. Yeah, he just got a one on one Pokemon that just loves his owner, and he's just going. It's like a dog. Like I'm gonna die with you, Ash. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so he got a good Pikachu, but like Raju is is the top, and then there's Charmeleon. What is yeah. it? 
I didn't know. What's Charmeleon? It's it's one more before Charizard, right? Yeah, there's it's three. It's three. Yeah, it's three. Because there's a teach me about this shit. Yeah, Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. Yep, and then there's uh, Bulbasaur, Blastoids, and other one, and then Squirtle. Yeah, Squirtle. When I, that's my man. Right there. I fuck with Squirtle. So did you yeah. play like the you play Pokemon Go when it was big? Were you out there in the park yeah, fucking yeah. slinging? Yeah. We was catching a Pokemon. Slinging shit. Yeah. My yeah. like, people was like, "What are you doing? I'm catching a fucking Pokemon. Move, <laughs> move your fucking baby." <laughs> like, yeah. You got any favorite fighters in the UFC that um, you that you watch or like you look forward to seeing fight? No, my favorite fighter, Ice Man. Oh, uh, Chuck Liddell. Yeah, Chuck Liddell. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. Black fist. And used to fuck people up and on my elbows. Yeah. You know? And then I liked Ken Shamrock. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. You're a WWF fan. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Well, so you, most you watch man. WWE like E and shit still? Or I watch just... it with my kids. Like we watch nice. the, like, I watch the events like Royal Rumble and like shit like that. Oh, uh, Rumble's I, my favorite. You're going to go to SummerSlam in Cleveland? I didn't even know that was here. It's, it's yeah. coming uh, in August. There, oh, again, it hasn't been officially announced, I don't I'm think. I'm telling but it. The <laughs> rumor mill is He's Cleveland. leaking it. You manifest it. <laughs> yeah, you do. You just manifest so what nah. is it. So what is it? What are they deciding between Cleveland and what other city? It's um, like nothing. Not sure. Logan Paul will get it. <laughs> like, I heard they're in, like, yeah. contracts, he, basically. Now he's there, he'll get in Cleveland. Yeah, um, like oh, I yeah, was Logan Paul, he's what a superstar now, right? Yeah, yeah he's a yeah. champion. He's, he's a USA actually champion. Really oh, good he, at it too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He really, I can it's see a, it. He's, yeah, it's he's pretty cool. Very athletic. You can't and, knock him, bro. Both of them, they they know how to make money. Yeah, I can and they're annoying see it. for sure. They're annoying as hell, but man, they're geniuses. Yeah, they, I can't believe that they signed. They're about to let Jake Paul beat up Mike Tyson though. Yeah, well, he is probably sold out. They probably paid him so much money. Mike Mike Tyson was probably like, "Give me it, thank you." They probably Listen, I. It's oh. a free fight too. Yeah, yeah. like it's, it's on Netflix. Netflix. And then Netflix, Netflix, Netflix probably paid. No, Netflix look, paid. Look, right there's oh, Prime. That's their sure. shit on the on but, the map. Yeah. That's his um, shit. I yeah. re- dude, I think the fight determines on Tyson. I think if Tyson, like, right you see, them, you see them videos of Tyson when oh, he's Tyson being that, that he dog and he's out. quick and doing that shit. Bro. He didn't do that <laughs> shit in that fight, that last one he did. If he goes in there like a dog and has the mentality of he was when he was oh, like yeah. 22, yeah. he's, he's going to fuck stripped. Jake oh, Paul up. Yeah. But nah, if he yeah. fights Wait, defensive oh, yeah. him out, oh, and lets Paul sit here and pick him, it's the fight's going to go the distance. He's going to be able to be like, I'm Jake Paul's going to fuck Mike Tyson up. No. If Mike Tyson wants to, I think he goes in there and fucking destroys uh, him. Got, I got Tyson for sure. He uh, sits him with the body shots. I'm telling you, bro. Jake, Jake Paul couldn't, couldn't even Paul. beat the, the right, Fury yeah. kid. What was his bro, name? Bro, I, don't, person, I can't remember his first the, name. Right. Tyson Fury. Right. 100 yeah. bucks. I'll cash app you. 100 bucks. I got, I'll got. i take Tyson. I'm taking Jake Paul, bro. There it is. Shit. All right, the $100 bet. I'm telling, listen, I'm telling you, like, it's he's not going to lose because sure. you know how much it means for him to beat yeah. Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then his brother yeah. fight Floyd, yeah. like, Logan shit. fought Floyd. Yeah, yeah. that's a good thing. That was something I him like yeah. all throughout the beginning. But him beating Mike Tyson but is going to mean the world, bro. He proved me wrong. Ain't like, no way his brother going to beat Floyd. Floyd still will fight. I don't know if he'll knock him out. I hope he. They better not let him. I think Tyson's going to is going to put him down with body shots. I think Tyson's nah, gonna get bro. in there like a dog he's and a hit him with boy, that though. boom boom to the ribs. Jake's pretty tall, ain't he? Yeah, because Tyson's he's still big. in shape, but Jake Paul actually Jake, just fights. Everyone's supposed to be him walk yeah. with Canes. Like, I think they're know, older though. Yeah, yeah he's just yeah. older. He, he's like he's definitely in shape, but he ain't he ain't fighting like what? I mean, that little bullshit fight was weak, but a real fight, he ain't fighting like 10 What about years. Haney and Garcia, uh, though, April 20th? Like, I don't know. Roy Jones beat Garcia's not, ass. I want years Garcia ago. to win so bad. Yeah. yeah, he fought Roy Jones with that exhibition fight. I want him to be a yeah, exhibition too. fight. Yeah. But, not like real, real, too. Yeah. but not a real fight. Not, not real. I don't know what this, I don't know what the rules of this shit I think is. This is, is an Is it an eight, five? Like, yeah. I don't know what it actually is because that determines, but I'm still picking Tyson. We got $100 back regardless of the fucking rules. I mean, rules is rules. I'm taking Jake Paul. And I I don't like Jake Paul at all, bro. I, I, like I don't like him, but I respect him I for respect the, him. Like, he's, he's, a hustler, he's a hustler. He's a hustler. He's a fucking hustler. Like, they are. Sure. Listen, how, listen to this. And they moved to Puerto Rico because I guess there's no there's no taxes, right? It's so, different. That's yeah. why they moved down there and they built a big ass. Well, that's why like smartest. That's why Tom yeah, Brady smart. went to fucking. Ta- that's why a lot of players and yeah, athletes like, go to Florida because yeah. their taxes yeah. is there too. They Sammy don't have income tax. Went to tech or Mexico started Cabo Wabo Tequila. So just because he he's oh, yeah. he could still be fucking super Everyone's rich getting down tequila. there. Kevin Hart just got tequila from Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> and The Rock. Yeah, everyone's making a fucking a drink these days—a bourbon or a mm, whiskey, whiskey or fucking something. Everybody got some tequila right now. Yeah, I tried The Rocks. I don't like it. It's not that good. It tastes. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. 
I want to try Kevin Hart's though. I feel like he would have put the what's money your go to drink if you're going to the if you're going to the bar. What are you ordering up? What's your go tos? What do you like? So I got three go tos because it depends on the night. Yep, I feel that. It's either I'm gonna go Tito's and Crayon. Okay, so you're trying Tito's or Crayon. You're gonna smooth that through. That's gonna be a long night. You're gonna be smoothing it through. Yep, socializing this shit. Yep, no, I feel it. Yep, no, I got you. If we about to go crazy, then I'm tequila straight. Okay. Tequilas. What do you? What kind of tequila do you prefer? Um, I, well, when it comes to them nights, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's tequila, what's up. No, I feel it. Straight and then like dinners and like stuff like that. I'm gonna do like a, a cognac. Okay. Yeah, yeah, cognac. You, you a cigar guy? See, I've been getting into it. I just can't really. Because there's a couple of nice cigar bars in Pittsburgh and shit. Mm-hmm. Ain't we there? Got yeah, we got burn. Yeah, um, I know a couple of buddies have been Noble, there. Man. One next to the uh, American Cowboy. Eagle. Yeah, Tequila yeah, Cowboy. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a new one. Cut. We got a cigar bar open up soon here di- downtown. Like, that's fair. Like, Canton downtown here is actually, like, pretty decent. Like, I don't know if you've been back. Did you go past the Hall of Fame at all? Yeah, that's where we pass up coming up. That shit's getting legit now. Like, yeah. if you haven't been by, that's going to be an indoor water park. The Hall of Fame? Yeah. So, it's you can be in the NFL. Yeah. 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 Wow. It is going to have a beach in there. Like a, a beach, and then like at, like so there's like gonna be bad big screens, yeah. so like you can literally go there on again. Sunday. There next week, there'll be like right. swim up bars, a beach that you can like throw a towel down and chairs cool. down, and literally the water's in front of you, and then like the football games will be on on the big screen. Yeah. There's like tube slides. I'll be oh, sick. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, be sick. There's a pizza oven pizza, right? The, yeah. the pizza yeah. you eat now. There's one over there in the village. There's a uh, uh, who Don Shula. His steakhouse is over there, which oh, is like. Sure. Which is like a top yeah. steakhouse. They got a virtual top golf over there, like restaurant too. So like you can get a private area and have dinner. That is amazing. And do like some virtual golf. Do y'all like the progression in your city and shit like that? Is right now it's going good. It's going they good. got a fucking zip line, a power tower <laughs> yeah. over there for How the kids. How many people live up here? I have no clue, but it's getting know. better, man. Crime yeah. was terrible here for the longest time. Oh, yeah. We were one of the from... worst small cities. Yeah, we were the second most dangerous little city in the country. Yeah, yeah. we were getting killed. Oh, yeah. This is where <laughs> Trippy Ray's from. Yeah. <laughs> up here, I'm not oh, yeah. Oh, Trippy Ray's from here. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's crazy. Trippy Ray's from NFL Hall of Fame. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but. Yeah, no, there's there's some dumb shit that happens. It's a lot of it's just young kids that tr- out there trying to prove themselves at this point. That sure. shit is insane. Cause they're fucking spoiled. Just trying to like, well, it's probably it's my generation. Well, they like, just a lot of them haven't. A lot of them are babied. Everyone got a trophy and they didn't but face consequences. To, like, yeah. Make a viral moment, like recording, like pulling up on somebody or something yeah. stupid. Like let one of those like, what's that? Like a couple of them cats that go to the mall and do some dumb wow. shit to people. Why like, do you do shit at the mall? If you, if you, if <laughs> you're, it was up. One kid did it in the mall and got shot. Yeah, I seen it. Yeah, no. like let you let me be with my kids at the mall and you come up and do some dumb shit. Oh yeah, it's fun. I'm gonna knock you're, you the fuck. Yeah, you're out. fair game. Mm. Like, like, why would you even come up to me when I got my kid? Right? And here's the thing. And when I do this and you say stop, it's just a YouTube video. No, I don't I'm give a fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that. like, that's not yeah. an excuse. It's just for a prank. Me. It's just yeah. a prank. No, 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 it's not, not a prank. prank. <laughs> it's not a prank, bro. That, yeah, that's not stupid. an excuse. A prank involves okay, it's no laughter. physical laughter. Like, don't and there touch is me. no laughter at this point in time. Like I'm like what? I'm with my kid, bro. I'm a fucking like. There comes a point. Point. I'm yeah, gonna mop the floor with you. And it's yeah. a YouTube video as an excuse. It's not at all. To it's do just dumb shit. Man, I don't care, bro. Like, come here. We're fighting now. Yeah. It's not a prank. It's real. Yep. Like, yeah. Prank going wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Prank, yeah. Pranksters are crazy. That dude in England that was just going in people's houses, just walking into what? their houses. Yeah. There That's was a, a prank. It's just a prank. The one at the mall. He would, walk, he would literally, like, say we were, we were sitting here. He would walk into someone's house. There'd be, like, a husband and wife. He would just go walk, sit on the couch, and put his feet up on their, like, coffee table and just be like. And they'd be like, yeah. He'd be like, it's just. And just sit there like that. And, like, because that was his prank. Yeah. I'm like, you do that shit over just here in clear. America, you're you getting shot. Shit in Texas. He, he went you up to shot. people with dogs and was like, it was like, oh, what a nice dog. And they would pick it up and just run away and start laughing. Yeah. And like the boot gang. Remember boot gang? Like, you try to take my out? dog. We're, he, take yeah. we're fighting yeah. at the very least. Yeah. And Epstein didn't kill himself. Yeah, uh, you know what? <laughs> Let's get into the conspiracy. So you're theories. Conspiracy? What's, <laughs> your, what's your what's your oh shit? What you like? Here, anyone need so, weed? We're going anybody, to conspiracy we're, theories. Conspiracies. <laughs> anybody need so, weed? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I believe that humans. I'm good. I just 
put one down. I believe that humans are fucking aliens. Okay, okay. For right. Surely, it's, that's why we are overlooking what the fucking alien looks like, because it's us. We don't belong here, bro. Only thing that belongs on Earth are fucking animals. That's the only thing that's native to this land. Animals and, and the plant life and shit like that. Yeah. And then, I think we come from water, bro. Like, we humans come from water, bro. From water? Yeah, mm-hmm. oh God. We are 99% water, bro. Everything about us needs water. Yeah. Everything about us to breathe is a component of water. We need oxygen. Oxygen, we're only, and we're the only being that breathes poison. We need to breathe poison. So every day we're killing ourselves to be alive. Shit. Well, I have heard that. <laughs> that was clear. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, was. Crazy I think yeah. I got a contact time. So yeah. <laughs> that shit was You got to figure, but we're breathing a gas. We need oxygen to live. That's true. But so do a lot of different animals. Right. But we have the, like, besides turtles and shit, I we got the next longest that. life expectancy. Yeah, well, they're, because the, there's oxygen in water, so they're still breathing oxygen. Right. You know what I mean? Literally. But, I agree with that, but I think, like you said, like, we don't belong on the land. Like, Everything in the ocean, like we've only discovered what seven percent of it, bro. We know There's more about more space shit. than we know yeah. about water. I don't know. Yeah, sure. shit Somebody's about space fucking like that. lying. They're lying. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's lying. Smack the ball. Yeah. And I have heard that we're not really like designed for this planet. Like we're not. We, we get sunburned. Like we're we're we can't stay alive in like cold temperatures. Like, oh, like what's this? A blessing. Trace generation. Sean, you can pass it up. You gotta smack it, but yeah, fucking, we're not designed for this shit, bro. <laughs> That's just like a thing. Yeah, you, you, you got smack the ass on a bottle before you. Uh, oh, you guys want? Is, yeah, you sure. guys want some tequila? There's some leftover tequila. Yeah, tequila Don, from Don our uh, last guest. Yeah, it's up. The box is up there. Yeah, it is. Tequila's in the freezer. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's just tequila. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, it's tequila. Hell yeah, we gonna drink. Yeah, this that shit. was that was right. Terrence McKinney's tequila. Yo, I'm getting all kinds of fucking gifts here today. Terrence will be on it's the a bottle. Yeah. Not fighting, but he'll be on Terrence there. was drinking it when he was on the Bro, show. Yeah. Shout out to Terrence. Yeah, for sure. What's up, Terrence? Yeah, this is my so this is how my D Man and Dean. Their orders from Cleveland. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So you know Thanks for coming out, guys. So when we're done, everybody exchange info. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nah, this is a fucking I guess I'm gonna keep saying it. it's a bad. So whose Xbox is that? That's mine. You're a fucking smart man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, are you an Xbox guy? Yeah, I don't play fucking PlayStation. Oh, well, yeah, I, I got, I, I was a PlayStation guy. I got that because I wanted to play Starfield. Oh, yeah. But uh, I'm going to play other stuff. Right, I'm going to drink too. that shit. Pass the Dutchie. You want this yeah, shit? you fucking right. I'm a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I barely smoke. I, I like psychedelics, but on God, I am St. Patrick himself. <laughs> I get fucked up. Yeah, man. you can kill that, take it with you, or whatever, bro. You're fucking sure. right. I'll just keep the box or the shelf. Yeah. Oh yeah, you want a glass? Nah, I'm gonna drink it out the bottle. I'm, I'm, go I'm a freaky it. man. Go for <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, this was our last here. That was who was over here last time. It was our last guys. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, Terrence you seen his T-Rex, video, the one I showed you. Yeah, you showed me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yo, y'all see he got a COVID Pokemon card. <laughs> yeah, we got the COVID Pokemon <laughs> autograph, dude. Check this shit out. That's yeah, we had a whole episode. That's dude who killed the whole America, ain't that right? Yeah, this is dude that fucking everybody up. Yeah, but don't, that's why we put in a plastic case. We didn't want you to get like COVID or anything. <laughs> that's <laughs> autograph. That's song. authenticated too. Ain't <laughs> that shit crazy? Bro? Yeah. Got an authentic doctor card. It's fucking mm-hmm. crazy. Years. <laughs> <laughs> like fifty years. That's gonna they be worth some shit. Him, like, uh, who made what movie they just dropped? The Sacklers. No, nah, not the Sackler. I'm saying like uh, uh, the dude who made Inception. Chris Nolan? Yeah. What movie did he just make? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Chris Nolan, dude, he did some nut shit? Yeah, nah, he made a movie. Yeah, you should what? take it and go get it graded. Yeah, yeah, get it graded. <laughs> oh, Oppenheimer. Yeah, yeah. That's the next Oppenheimer. Oh, sure. my God. For sure. Yo, did you see Oppenheimer? I haven't, but I want to. Oh my god! My little brother says, "Fire, you, brother." Yeah, I heard so it's good. Says, they, I, uh, I, I, I can sit down with them. They recreated a nuclear explosion no, using no CGI. They said oh, it's all practical yeah, effects. Which, I need to see that. Which makes me think, like, about the moon. Like, come on, bro, we can do oh, shit like that. Oh, I mean, even sure. back bro. then, though. But still, the moon's fishy for sure. Listen, Oppenheimer is a crazy movie. My brother says, "Fire." Albert Einstein fucked the world up. He's pissed. You know, he's in that movie, Albert yeah. Einstein. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's in that movie because he helped Oppenheimer figure out how to make the atom bomb. Or yeah. he he basically... Did you see Oppenheimer? So he... Oh, shit. I don't I don't go ahead. I, I, don't, I don't care about spoilers. So he basically like... So Oppenheimer, he yeah, came up... It already happened. So Oppenheimer, he came up with the equation on how to make the atom bomb. 
Yeah. And he was going back and forth with Einstein. And Einstein looked at that shit and basically verified, like, yo, this is right. But he ain't know what the equation was for. Once he made it, Albert Einstein was like, man, I, I fucked the road up. Yeah. Oh, shit. yeah, he regretted it. Yeah, he sure. regretted it. He regretted it. <laughs> Damn. That shit was deep. No, I need to see that. Yeah. I love Chris Nolan movies. You think too. there'll be ever be another man like that? Like, like, like Einstein? Einstein? Or, or Oppenheimer? Uh, I don't know. I bet you Elon could do some there evil shit already. if he wanted to. Yeah, Elon. <clears throat> Elon could pull some evil shit. If well, he wanted if Elon cars, wanted to sure, destroy. He could just let them all go. I'm not fucking, you know how many satellites that cat's got in the space right now? Bro, yeah. listen. If cool. I was Elon, Bezos, Gates, I would have been Batman. Yeah, yeah. I'd be yeah. Iron Man or some yeah. shit. Yeah, like, sure. like, like, too much money, bro. Cool Go do myself. some shit, bro. Like, man, I'm, I, they were supposed to fight uh, him and Zuckerberg. Remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the Rome Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wow. Uh, and Zuckerberg was gonna fuck uh, the Musk. He trains. He does jiu-jitsu. Zuckerberg on Musk ass. Even Musk is an asshole, though. It's my favorite billionaire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I follow Dude, him on, shit t- on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's God. just he's amazing, bro. Yeah. You gotta love a billionaire troll. Yeah, oh my, he'd be on there acting crazy, saying freaky shit, dude. He, he, he's just, he's him. I fuck with Elon. Oh God. So, what conspiracy theories are you into? Oh, they're just the normal ones, really. Well, what are yeah. normal conspiracy theories? <laughs> <laughs> I guess the main ones you always hear is like, I don't think we landed on the moon. No. Yeah. Nah, fuck no. Ain't no way hell. How? <laughs> and, you know, I'm just saying, like, beat, I think, like, I don't that one. Uh, Bro, I don't believe nothing. Nobody tells us because we don't know what's in the water and we live here. <laughs> yeah, sure. Ain't no way in hell you yeah, we got a rover on Mars. Go to the bottom of the fucking ocean and tell us is there a person down there? <laughs> like or civilization or something. Literally, bro, ain't no way. Look, I literally believe as in above is below. Yeah. Like there's fish people down there, bro. Shark man, shark fed to God down there acting crazy. <laughs> <Shark fed to God. laughs> Performing in Atlantis, going crazy. Shark fed. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I definitely think there's like ancient civilizations that they don't let us know about, and like ancient knowledge and shit, like that were where they were like super advanced. Mm-hmm. Like I saw a video the other day of a paraglider going over top of the pyramids, and they slow it down, and you see that there's actually hieroglyphics on the top bricks and shit. Like, what is that for? Whoa. Like who? Who are those hieroglyphics for? You know how did I mean? they even put hieroglyphics? How did it? How they even build the build pyramids? Yeah, but like right. you said, there was supposed to be gold on top of those, though. Yeah, they people say that there were gold. The tips of the pyramids are gold because I guess none of the pyramids have tips right now. They're all broken off. They're broken or off. Gone. Yeah. So they said that one time they were like I don't know if it was solid gold, but they were gold tips. And Tony gold's Hall. like I guess a a conductor or something like that. Yeah. And uh. Like we talked about this the other day, like yeah. Nikola Tesla made the that big machine looks like a big shaft with like a ball on top, and it provided electricity to like a whole like town in the mountains for free, and it was just pulling electricity out of the air and shit. And uh, they say that maybe the pyramids and the pyramids all around the world and shit were kind of like that for entire cities because they had the tips. Yeah, maybe there were I, I don't know, but there's yeah. like theories about that. Like I don't know, I just I'm interested. Now keep going. I'm you know, cooking I, I, I really know so much. <laughs> I guess you tell you what I know, but yeah. yeah, there's all kinds of videos out there that talk about it on YouTube. That's where I hear all so, this bullshit. Like, I'm like uh, the theory that I've seen about the pyramids is like they're just the top of towers because part of the land we're on is built on top of another land. Could be like the yeah, yeah like it's like the what's that the Washington Monument yeah. or something like it's just the tip of that. Uh-huh. Kind of like the the Easter Island statues and yep. shit. They said like the whole, their whole bodies are like in the ground. In the ground, shit. yeah. So. Did you see them, um, the elephant tusk uh, mountains? The mountains that look like, like elephants? Yeah, I just see no. them. Did you see them? Yeah, I'm about yeah. to, bro, crazy. I'm about to pull them up for you. They had a fucking, shit. they did those, that, scan technology over the Amazon and they seen fucking like villages that were like 30 feet deep that were just covered up yeah. over. Oh, and like yeah. underground cities and shit? Yeah, like, shit those definitely exist. They, yeah. like, they found like... Where they, no, they were saying these ones were covered. Like, they weren't wow. underground. These ones were... Oh, shit. Yeah, that does look like an elephant. That's an elephant. Yeah, that's an elephant. Yeah. Is that the one like, jungle? Oh, yeah, that's I saw that one too. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a real elephant. Ain't no way in hell. No, yeah. That's and crazy. You, did y'all see? Oh, it was on CNN. They dug, they dug into Antarctica. <laughs> And there's a 74 degree rainforest in Antarctica. Dude, I, that's another thing. Antarctica. What the I fuck is that? Yeah, that's, that. that's okay. That's to say, like, that's one right there that I'm interested in. That's the one like, to go to what is there? like, why is there this whole thing that not, you can't go there? You can't go there. Yeah. Only like 14 Certain governments areas. have to approve you to go there type shit. Like, like 
<laughs> but yeah, y'all motherfuckers can go whenever you want. Come and go. Literally, y'all can just be in Antarctica. You have bases and you have shit there. Literally. There's underground the tunnel. tunnels and shit. Nah, like, bro, bro. I, I just don't think it is what they're telling us it is, bro. Yeah. I think it's cold down there, but it's cold here and it's cold in Brazil yeah. sometimes. Yeah. I don't man, South Pole frozen. Come on, bro. Yeah. We all know it's hot as fuck under the equator. So how is it cold down there? Yeah. And if you're not allowing anybody to go there, you're clearly trying to hide something. Trying to hide something. Like, like, and like when the, you do let them go, because they'll let people go there. You can like, yeah, but but like only certain they areas. restrict you to this like yeah. two to three mile by three mile area. For real. Yeah, you can go there and like stay. And there's like a building where they chill in and shit like oh, yeah. that. But you can only see and stay into like this little quadrant. They don't let you go. Like it's not like you can hop on a snowmobile, snowmobile and fucking explore yeah. for like and go set camp. They don't let you do that That's shit. It's insane. Bro. And like there's, you're not allowed to go to like most of the Grand Canyon. Like you cannot go there. The helicopters will come around and they will take you out of there. For real? There, there are Egyptian paintings and shit and like hieroglyphics and like paintings on the wall and like capes and shit in the grand canyon yeah wow. that are yeah blocked and protect like you yeah you like cannot, military you're block, not allowed like to go, go to like you ever been in an airport in Denver? no but no. i heard the underground they got that whole underground crazy. shit what is it bro when you walk through the airport in denver they be bro the government plays in our face bro you walk in the airport in denver and there's like yeah there's aliens and shit here there's underground tunnels and it's on the walls yeah. Like in the yeah. airport, like yeah. they're, they're pitting in your face, like, like all right. literally, yeah, like, go yeah. on YouTube and type in like Denver Airport, Denver Airport, and well, I don't know what would be the best address, but you'll find a video of someone walking through there and showing you every symbol and different shit. Yeah, there's wow. there's huge ass murals all over the place that depict Some like the end happened. of the world and shit. Looks like predictions. Some weird yeah. shit happened to us on tour. We was on we we was all on the tour buses. I swear to God, and we were all asleep. And this is one time we was sleepy as hell on tour two years ago. And we're riding, we're coming from Albuquerque to go to El Paso and shit, bro. I promise you, bro. We're all asleep, but we all had, we all woke up on some shit. Like we all had the same dream. Like bro, it started thundering, and nigga, we just don't remember shit. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Swear to God, bro. Nobody remembers nothing, bro. We just be like. What the fuck happened? Like, did y'all see that weird shit, bro? I mean, like, that Albuquerque, bro, all them little shits down there in that desert. Yeah. Like, that shit's weird, bro. No. That's like, just, wild. It's weird as hell. Because, you know, Area 51 yeah. is somewhere in Nevada. So it's like, it's man, all, yeah. Yeah, that shit weird. And Roswell's in New Mexico. What's yeah. Roswell? Roswell? Yeah. The Roswell incident, where, like in the 40s, where uh, the aliens crashed and. They said it was a weather balloon and shit. You didn't hear about it. I never heard about that. Oh, that's what's like. Didn't he just come out and say it was aliens? Maybe. I didn't hear about it. I wouldn't doubt it. You know about Roswell, though? Yeah. Because we're more than Roswell's like the first, like. Yeah, it's like one of the biggest ones. They say they recovered bodies and shit. Alien bodies and, yeah. Oh, Roswell, yeah. The mummies. They said it was just a weather balloon. That's what they The mummies. That'll add more into the whole. Oh, mummies are weird as fuck. Oh, that. Where they find, like, the old-ass mummies. That's just weird. That'll make sense. This is going to be the cherry on top when you're sitting there like, oh, yeah, that, mm-hmm. Yeah, for surely, we surely, they definitely tried to abduct us that night. That's crazy, dude. We was on there like, what in the fuck is going on? Well, you didn't remember, so you might have. Um, I look, I just know we we woke back up on the bus and everybody was straight, but we all had the same dream. That's crazy, That's though. Nuts, like, I'm dude. like, this is insane. Yeah, there's some weird, there's, there's, I mean, man, they just need to just be on some shit like, yo, this is what it is out here. Like, if you can handle it, you, can handle, you can handle it. If you can't, then fuck it. Well, yeah. they shouldn't be able to like hide shit and not release documents. I understand, Literally. like, I mean, giving even, it a time frame, yeah. but like, after that, don't. Uh, be like, all right, we're gonna add another sixty years to the JFK I, shit, so you can't see any of that. <laughs> I think yeah. they need to just <laughs> and like, like the COVID shit. They saw the shit. It's like, what is it? Like seventy years before you can see? They can release well, files, yeah, and you can't <laughs> you can't sue the pharmaceutical companies. Yeah. <clears throat> COVID, that was one of the deals. It's like Bro. seventy years before you can file for any of like the like um, crazy shit. What is a like where you can file for like the paper for it or Freedom of Information Act? Uh, yeah. uh, you got like seventy years before you can file for like the whole thing, and then you can't sue any pharmaceutical company, doctor, or hospital for your getting the COVID shot. No, like if you had. That's why I didn't get that shit. If you had I any had like you, bro, for school, and shit you got like that, work, bro. It sucked. Yeah, I made a fake vaccine card. Did you? We were fucking yeah. right. They tried to make me do that shit to get uh, yeah, it was so, performance. It was such shit. a joke that you could do that. Yeah. You could just print one out and like, who's going to say it's fake? 
Because they were just giving him pieces he's of paper. Sleeping over there, nah, he's yeah, he's sleeping. definitely sleeping. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I weed's wasn't good, man. The weed's good. That's some good weed. He got weed yeah, pizza, I, man. My I man wasn't yet. Yeah. Like, bro, I caught COVID like six times just for my body to build the immunity to that shit. I'm not getting that fucking shot. Like, That's the best nah, way. Man, that, that was the best way. Like, man, like just you're get a that healthy shit. young man. Like, I, I mean, I was definitely fucked up when I had that shit. I was confined to a fucking <laughs> one spot on the couch. Man. But one day I had COVID, I literally crawled to the bathroom crying like, oh my God, this is the worst shit in the world. Oh yeah, it sucked. But yeah, you made it, it sucked it. for sure. Huh? But you made it through. I made so it through. Yeah. 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 But now yeah. you got the well, best I never had it. Now I got the best community have. ever. Like, fuck. Yeah, but it was... It wasn't any worse than like the bad flus I've had. No, no, nah, nah, that shit, the shit I had was worse, definitely worse than the flu, bro. Oh, for yeah, real. Some yeah. people got fucked like, up. Like, see, because I didn't lose, because I'm, I never actually took tests and saw that I had COVID. COVID you know yeah. what I mean? I just assumed I did because I was really well, sick. I, but like, I didn't lose taste and smell. Like everybody I lost described. my taste and smell, and, bro. Still to this day, some food don't taste the same no more, bro. I bet. Like I really That's don't. I heard that. That's crazy. Like, like the smell would fuck. I seen the one chick that says she uh, smells smoke. Yeah, yeah bro, she was saying like, she smells smoke constantly. Like it's so weird. She's well, never smoked, and yeah. like her husband never smoked. I smell. But weed all after time. that, for the last four years, still she just smells. Smoke. Every once in a while, she still gets like smoke. Yeah. And it's what it is. Bro, when I when I lost my fucking taste and smell, bro, I drank so much liquor because you can't taste it, bro. It was just like, <laughs> yeah. bro, but everything just tasted like nothing, bro. It was like, it. <laughs> fuck it. Like, bro, that shit was, that shit hurt. And then, I, like I said, I was in a, I was asleep for like three days, bro. Like waking up, go to the bathroom, yeah. go back to sleep. Sleeping and sweating it out is like the best Literally. way to get through it. There's nothing really Dude, you can do for on the yeah. feet, throw some socks on yeah. over Literally. and go to bed. That's it. That shit's crazy. I love it. You know how Trump said he thought he had COVID and that's the doctor. <laughs> what did he say? He said they looked at my DNA and they said I've never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> I have US event. Uh, uh, I love it, dude. Donald Trump is a funny motherfucker. Uh, he's definitely he's definitely the funniest president we've ever, ever had. had. Yeah. Isn't it crazy though how like ahead of Mac was of the time, like to make oh, that song good. Donald yeah, Trump? This is real good. Pass that over, taste this shit. That shit good. It was expensive shit. Yeah. yeah that's good didn't shit. you think you said you the Dude, guy the guy fucked up. up. Yeah. That was supposed to be like a hundred and forty bucks or something like that. Yeah. And the dude ran it at, ran it out at sixty nine. Oh he, yeah, he got lucky. Man. <laughs> that shit good. <laughs> it just bottles yeah, up over like, there. I better give this good old taste. That's smooth. Yeah. <laughs> that's that shit good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's some different shit. If y'all yeah. want a cup, we get your cup, or you gotta <laughs> just bang it straight out. We gonna bang that shit out. We thugging. <laughs> it's like the sleepover. The guys is here. Yeah. Absolutely, positively. So you got any uh, any uh, shows coming up? Yeah, here in the next. If April, you want April twelfth, um, Slippery Rock. Oh, okay. College, yeah. Slippery Rock. That's just not, that's not too far. I had a wild night in Pittsburgh one time. Went to uh, went to a baseball game, and I ended up at cheerleaders. <laughs> I don't know what that is, dude. That, that, that fucking shit. with good old Richie in them. I don't even know, but dude, I went there. I ended up spending it was probably like twenty five hundred dollars. Oh, you you had fun in there. And the, yeah, now the dude I was with spent. He was like at like three grand. Oh, dude, we were wild. Oh my god. When was this? Oh, this was years ago, but it was dope because I didn't drink because I like, haven't drank forever. So you was in a band. But dude, I told him like when they came up and took order, I'll tell you this. Uh, it's the one story I always bring up. I, when we went in there, he dude, I was with Dusty. He got his scotch or whatever. He always drank scotch. Yeah. And I was like, no, I was like, I'm the DD. I don't drink, you know, yeah. blah, blah, blah. They gave me free water and, and like appetizer for being a designated driver. Yes. Nice. For not drinking. Good old Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like they were yeah. very accommodating. I was like, that's what, that was the nicest like gesture strip yeah, nah, ever given yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Major. I got the, the other crazy stories I got lactated on in cheerleaders by a stripper. Lactated. She milked you. Yeah. Just, yeah. No way. Yeah, her titty shot milk on me during oh, private shit. up top. I went up them steps. Yeah. And like to the up there or whatever yeah, yeah. in the one room. Yeah, and she was eating fucking I had milk on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Cheerleaders in Pittsburgh. Yeah, this was. He went from the appetizer story. It was oh, so shit. nice. Yeah. To the, to eight the, years ago. Maybe you want to go. Yeah, probably eight, nine years ago. Getting locked yeah. in on is crazy. Yeah, yeah, she looked at me and I was like, it ain't going to get any more awkward. You might as well keep going. <laughs> like, you know, like, like, what the fuck? Like, I mean, she already, like. It's I, only up from here. Yeah, what? 
So we, we can't we can't go nowhere else. Yeah. yeah. What, yeah. Is, like, what else is gonna happen? Like, you know, like, if you if anything else worse than this happens, yeah, I probably mm, will leave. But it. I don't foresee that. Was like, it intentional or was it unintentional? No. No, uh, maybe she was like a little embarrassed. Oh yeah, she was embarrassed as okay, fuck. What, but I was that just makes like, it awkward oh, what the sure. fuck ever? That's like, insane. I thought maybe it was her thing. Like that was yeah, her thought she was just like she's the one you picked to you. get elected. <laughs> no, I didn't want no. Wow. No, she was embarrassed as fuck. Yeah, I didn't want that shit at all. I'd some some girls have like a trick. You know what I mean? <laughs> some girls are shooting ping pong balls out of their fucking shit. You know what, what about dude? the girl at the fucking Fox, uh, Fox Tale? Tale. She, tell them that story. Uh, in Pittsburgh, a girl put a whole water bottle in her pussy and shot it out. A water bottle? Wow. Like a water like like rocket? Like, pew, pew. Damn. Wow. How far did it go? <laughs> I mean, not too far. Little, it was uh, viral, bro. It went little, everywhere. A little one foot. But right. Pittsburgh's a fucking wild place, bro. Uh, That's crazy. So there's uh, actually there's, there's this place that used to be up in uh, <laughs> up in Talmadge um, called Ecstasy. This is a strip club up there. You yeah, actually, my buddy dated a girl there. Yeah, they actually had a there. decent breakfast if you stayed there long enough. Oh, <laughs> yeah, straight up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but there was this girl. She would put dum dums up her pussy. Yeast and, infection. And literally, would you have taken it? Fuck no, that's a yeast infection. My buddy would literally, he would end up having like three or four of them motherfuckers that's not by the end of the night. He was a good Josh. He was yeah. a good Josh would take Cherry's fucking little dumb dumb suckers out her pussy every single time. <laughs> I would just be like, bro, you don't get herpes one of these like, days. Were they wrapped up? What's up? Were they wrapped up? No. Uh, just raw dumb dumbs. She would unwrap it and just fucking rub her pussy and stick <laughs> it in and then just be, give it to you and he would fire oh, out. That's fucking fuck take the dumb dumb. Yeah, straight up. No, nah, that's how you catch I saw him even get herpes yeah. one day from that For shit. Sure. Yeah, you definitely catch something. So like that, that was her trick. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, X used sure. to be the shit because you could be there, you could be 18 because they had a champagne. Yeah. They had two different rooms to, the, to the strip club so you could go 18. So that's where we'd go. That's how they, that's how they were in West Virginia. Down there by Mountaineer. Yeah, that. 18. Our, that barber yeah, girl. See, they had she had 18 beat me to 21. Side. She beat my ass. Barber. Oh, Boom. She, yeah, she, she beat my ass. Look at the sure. definition in her arms. Straight beat me up. Come here, boy. I'm like, oh, <laughs> come on, man. Clarissa Shields. Yeah. You see her? She's had her second pro fight. She's a dog, Girl. bro. She is a dog. Yeah, it takes a special kind of retard to fucking go to a UFC ring. <laughs> He's I would do like I would go right now for the right amount of money. I wouldn't. Oh, right, right, right. Right. Box. I like agree. if you like, I go in there right now. I swear to God. Nope. I say this all the time. Nope. If you gave me, mm, if I knew I now this is after taxes, like so they'd have to figure <laughs> out this shit, right? Because I ain't that smart about it. But if I walked out of there with like 50, 60 grand, bring home, I walk in there with any of them motherfuckers and let them knock me out right now. Yeah, right nope. amount of money. I'd I'd nope. let somebody beat my you ass. Put, yeah, I would go right in there. Shout out Strickland. Th- I should just call him out. He'd beating up anybody at this point. I would go into any of those UFC rings right now, 50, 60 grand cash, <laughs> and get knocked the fuck out. I would give him thirty <laughs> seconds good. of my best before Blunt Lung took effect, yeah. and I'm like, but so like, what if you win? <laughs> now you gotta go back in that ring. No, nah, <laughs> no, nah. I'm retired. I'm retired. One up, one up, one up, dude. I am a fucking, I'm a professional UFC fighter with a uh, winning record. Winning record. So, I'm the fuck off. Ever, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Never lost. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Endless. I would yeah, never. Bro, st- I'm a rapper. I can't go in that ring. I just got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, the fuck right. I'll take my, I'll, I think I, well, I'll take my chances against Jake Paul, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll get in a, I'll, I'll box. I'll never do this shit, but I'll take my chance with anybody boxing because it's like motherfucking just stay upright. And don't get hit. Don't get no body shots. I could take a face punch. Okay. Huh? Should we go, dude? Let's find you a boxing match. <laughs> a celebrity <laughs> boxing match. Let's find you a boxing match. Dude. What is KSI? Was it yeah. Soldier Boy and Blue like Face? KSI? Buster? What about KSI? No, nah, I want to. I want. I, I want. Them don't make can't box. I want to fight a real boxer, like somebody who's really boxing, like not in there yeah. just swinging wild uh-huh. and just doing it for fun. Nah, if I'm a boxer, I'm a boxer. You should box Levy on Bell. That'd be hard. I'd beat Levy on Bell's ass. You think? I, I'd for sure. He, he boxed. Him. That's cool. I, I'd really be fighting street fighting. And Levy on Bell used to be in Pittsburgh on Carson Street. We fucking hated him. Oh, for real? Yeah, hey, like, go home. Nigga, we just fucking lost. Like, why are you upset? <laughs> yeah. I, swear, I hate, bro. I love football players and shit, but <laughs> on God, when we lose, when you're, when, any football player, when your team loses, I know y'all are humans, but bro, don't go out, bro. Like, 
No, this ain't high school. You can't lose and just go to school the next day. No, motherfucker, we just spent fucking $300 yeah. for a ticket. It's probably my kid's birthday, and you fucking dropped the ball yeah. in front of And we just everybody. paid you $30 million. $30 million. yeah. Don't come outside, <laughs> yeah. bro. Because yeah. one day, somebody's really going to, like, there's going to be one of them super fans that's going to see somebody who lost the game. Oh, like the Bills kicker or some shit? Yeah, yes. And, and Lord knows you might get fucking stabbed or Didn't something. Didn't Darrell Reeves get beat up in Southside? <laughs> yeah, they fucked him up. He got beat up in Southside. Did he? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Steelers <laughs> fans are good. We'll definitely fuck the players. But he's from Al Kupa, <laughs> right? Al yeah, he's from Quipper. Darrell Reeves can fight, too. That's crazy. <laughs> they, they put that all yeah, stay over in the fucking crib, bro. Yeah, we lose a game. Stay home. We are not happy. Oh God, the cops is gonna be pulling us over the whole week because we fucking lost. Especially when we lose to y'all. When we lose to fucking Cleveland, oh my God, it is hell at home. Says the man with the Browns hat. Right now. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, shout out to my guys. They got me this when I was on tour. So I fuck with my guys. I love Ohio. See, I came up Ohio. We play on the cool. We play here. I fuck with Ohio. Fuck the Browns though. Yeah. Especially when we lose to y'all. Miles Garrett, bro, just leave. Yeah, but he's helmet smash, y'all. Maybe he fucked Mason Rudolph up, bro. That was hilarious. Yeah. Miles he got smacked in downtown Cleveland. Yeah. Some dude walks up to him, his car fucking jawed him right through the window. For a while. Yeah, Miles Garrett, yeah. So I just punched Miles Garrett. Yeah. yeah. He went and walked right up to the window of his car and fucking just jawed him. You lost me my bet. Yeah. My parlay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it was yeah. about. Yeah. So what did Miles Garrett do? Did he fuck him up? No. Nah. No. Nah. No, they found it and shit like nah, that. That'd be a lawsuit, you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but I mean, would it? No, be no, a lawsuit? You defend yourself, right? I yeah, know. I guess that's true. You can't yeah. just punch somebody in the yeah. car. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he, he could beat his ass to the law. Like he could beat his ass to the That's not fair, though. I mean, we know you can beat him up, but come on, it's Miles Garrett. You can't just punch Miles Garrett. No, for sure. I don't like the Browns. I would never punch Miles Garrett. He's big as shit. Oh, yeah, he's a freak athlete. Yeah, they just had that Steelers exhibit at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I went over. I took the kids over to that shit. Oh, that shit was fire. Yeah, it was cool. Would you go to it? No. Why would I come to the Steelers? It's like, no. <laughs> like, it was like the Hall of Fame thing, though. No, like, no. Was all, they had all their bus set up outside. Like, they pulled them all out from where they normally are. And they yeah. had, like, I want to go up there and see the shrines of the heads and stuff. Like, oh, dude. I was. It's crazy being it was there. It's crazy in there. Oh, dude. It was, there's an energy when you walk in there. The way they have the lights and all the bus, how they're yeah. set up. It, yeah, you should definitely. I'm going to do it. Definitely take a trip. It's cool. Oh, that's that's my dog upstairs. He's big. He's moving around. <laughs> that motherfucker is going crazy up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last time I got chased by a dog, like ten years ago, I was fucking terrified. Oh, yeah. was, like, was it a pit neighbor bull? dog or a police uh, dog? That was a fucking pit bull. Um, I've never got chased by a police dog before. Ever. I, I volunteered. Yeah. I got uh, you volunteered. You volunteered to get chased by a dog. I used to, I do a lot of dumb shit, right? I just <laughs> done a bunch of dumb so shit. So I volunteered. Well, this is one of my younger days. All right. Uh, one of the reasons I got in trouble is I live with some dirty cops. It's a wild, yeah. whatever. But so I got to know a lot of different people in that whole world. Yeah. So I volunteered in, at the Pro Football Hall of Fame at this uh, like whole safety thing to get tasered. Yeah. So they shot the probes at me and like I took the fucking darts in my back and did it for five seconds. Like what? Because I wanted to know what it felt like. Like I told him, I was like, takes your breath away. I was like, when I watch cops, what happened? Like I want that. <laughs> I want that. You I want with it because I want to know, like when I watch TV, I want to know what it feels like. I want to compare. I want to be able to relate. So I went there and they fucking zapped me. That shit sucked. <laughs> Worst shit ever. Bro, it takes your fuck. Look, so you I see did the, that. Like, you see the scar on my lip? Yeah. That's because I got zapped two times and fell in my, I so, bit through my lip. So I did it three more times oh, after that, or two more times after that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, mine were always staged where, like, they were on my side and, like, laid me down so I wouldn't get hurt. Yeah, yeah or, I fell you know straight saying? to the ground, bro. And Boom. then I did. Were they for the, to go for your face or you moved into No, it? they shot me in my back. They, but they, you just instantly turned like oh, you turn into a board. board. Oh, yeah. okay, oh, okay. Because as soon as you feel it, you're, you're it's a defense mechanism. That it no. pulls no. where those wow. hit. It pulls all your muscles to those points. So yeah. like when on mine, I don't have the video because it was forever ago. But there's but like when they laid me down, up. My, my neck body. was like this, and you can tell when it stopped because then my neck releases and like relaxes. Wow. Yeah. So and, so now figure that. what he's saying to you. I'm purposely getting tased in the middle of the street and I have nobody to lay me down or break my fall from when my face releases. Damn. So I'm falling to the ground, my face release, I boom. So when you see those knockout videos and a dude gets jawed and he, he just falls, falls like this, yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah. And it's in a, in a plank position though. Yeah. Damn. 
<laughs> and then then you come to yeah and, 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 and I took them out that shit sucks I took them out cause it's like you so discombobulated at that point you don't even know what the fuck is going on get, so, yeah. so I took them out and then they hit me again but at this point I was on the ground already so. and that's it's 50,000 volts yeah. it's I'll wild it. <laughs> and you don't even know how long you're down I, I, it look, feels like I, an eternity bro I, I, I fuck I was down I took it out I woke <laughs> up I was on a curb it hit me again and I was in the back of a police car walking into jail Oh, I got the video Damn. actually of me with the dog. Allegheny County? Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, well they took me to Mercy to first to stitch my lip. Then they took me to Allegheny mm-hmm. County. And then they let, I mean, <laughs> by that point, it was some dumbass drunk shit, but they, um, they took me out of, uh, they, they let my charge, they dropped my charges and shit. Oh, yeah. Shit. So he got a WWF belt and a UFC. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Was, this was from in 2012, but this is where I volunteered to get bit by the police dog. <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> Yeah, like shit, like. We'll throw it up for the people at home. Oh, well, that's not that bad. No, I have the thing on. But yeah. I'll tell you what, it left bruises on me, though. Like, oh, you can see where the, still the canines, yeah, yeah, yeah. just those like, teeth. Yeah. I had two dots still on me. That's oh, how yeah. it literally was still tight as fuck wearing that vest. They it's could probably pull some shit out of place. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fuck, that was a, like one apart. of those Belgium Malamuse or whatever. Yeah. And there was. Uh, uh, Jeremy Shepard but yeah I did this four times that one to kick me in the nuts <laughs> but yeah and then they just said just pick it up and swing around try to get him off and every time he re-bit man it Imagine on your on it was like a vice getting tighter on your thing yeah I did that getting tighter on your thing yeah <laughs> and then uh, the other wild thing I did was terrorist training yeah, so I got to go in our our middle school, right, with a <laughs> with a plastic blue gun and hide, and the cops would come through, and then they would fucking try to find you Jesus. as you're the terrorist sitting in a room. That's so crazy. <laughs> that sounds funny shit. I ain't gonna so you can like yeah. volunteer. That sounds like some funny shit. <laughs> and listen, no, you want to know the wildest shit about fun. this? Is they yeah, used their real guns, yeah. and their rounds were like these soap powder rounds. No way. So they would use their real guns, and they they shot me. <laughs> so and like when away? they shot it, it was a fucking cartridge nah, that, that that's shot like this plastic fucking paintball at you. Hurt yeah. like fuck. Okay, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, I got to run around the school acting like a little fucking terrorist while these cops tried to hunt me down. <laughs> did you try and like get away? Like yeah, you yeah. Have to I, like, I was hot. Listen, here's I had there was advantages though. Ninety percent of the cops never were in this school. Yeah, I went to this school. <laughs> He's like, bro, been- so you know where to go. Yeah, you like there was escape. little secret spots, like little top spots. Yeah. Like I got him one time with the one because there was this one room that had a ledge when you, you walk. When you walk right, I didn't couldn't shoot, but I had a fake <laughs> plastic gun. Oh, so he was, he was but, 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 but I was like, bang. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, there was this room you walked in that had he this ledge. <laughs> And you could oh sit right God. up on this ledge, bro, right by some, the door. I go, if I could do some shit like that at Pittsburgh, like hide around my high school terrorist training with the Jakes, I'll fuck them up <laughs> on some good. Like I'll, I'll, I'll record it too, and, and Grand Theft Auto it, like like animated yeah. when you edit it. Oh, cool I'm fucking fun. these Jakes up in here. That's dope. Yeah, that's just funny as shit. Yeah, so that, <laughs> so I got to do those three things. It was cool as fuck. Uh, you ever seen those airsoft videos where they're having like air sets like? call of duty or something yeah. you're using airsoft guns and they got like gopros and shit they even have cameras in their scopes so you can see them looking and you see the hit it marks it with like a yeah. little it's every, sweet every dude it's dope dude it's it's super cool i've never yeah. went paintballing before i want to paintball so bad. that shit fucking hurts i got shot in my nuts with a paintball but paintballing is fun like if you wear the right shit yeah, you yeah. Just go, gear like, up, it's fun good. as fuck dude yeah it's real fun that's There's... why i said that terrorist shit sounds cool if the shit didn't hurt <laughs> yeah, yeah so that shit hurt <laughs> <laughs> didn't hurt. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, we should set up. <laughs> I free like I froze That's the first time. Be a terrorist for shits and giggles. Let's go to a paintball arena. Let's, <laughs> cops and terrorists, <laughs> <laughs> not cops and robbers. Number cops versus one terrorist. All yeah. of us versus one person is insane. I like it. Or like yeah. uh, like what's the like a Hunger Games type scenario? Yeah, yeah. What do they call that shit? Uh, like, you know, <laughs> Battle, Battle Royale. Royale. Yeah. yeah, that was uh. Episode sixty nine, guys. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming out for sure. All you guys. Yeah, thanks for joining us, dude. Thanks for having me. Anything guys. you want to leave them with? Yeah, I'm fed to God on every platform, on every fucking thing, and I, I got, I had fun. <sighs> awesome. Oh yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah, I had a good time. Glad too. you enjoyed Subscribe, yourself. Subscribe, like, share. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Awesome. Fun. Thank y'all. Like he said, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Uh, uh. Andy always grinding. More guests to come. It's been lit. You want to oh, yeah. tell you show your gear out? Might as well show it out oh, on yeah. here, right? Oh you shit! I got yeah, you might as well let the people out there see. You. Put your fucking right. your gear on here real quick. AG, yeah. always yeah, grinding. We'll it. Yep, it's on there. Yeah, I like this. It reminds me of a Chargers jersey. It does kind of get Chargers nice. vibes. Yeah. So like the bolt color. is like your life can happen in a flash and change in a flash. Everything happens for a reason. We're gonna make it happen somehow. Hell yeah! Always grinding. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Grinding. <laughs> uh, nice. Hell yeah! But thanks again, guys, and uh, yeah. Till next time. Till next time. Later.